or was so rudely interrupted by an exploding PC. <laughs> How dare he? Um, I was giving <laughs> some background on a successful history check on a sending message that was sent to Bavana by Tonk. Um, was that when it was? Was that when it died? Around, around about, mm. but. Um, you had received some information, some more information about the war and that it was becoming mm. more dire and that the refugees uh, were, they, they were becoming more of them yeah. um, and that, that there may be some sort of impending attack on Neverwinter. Yeah, I mean, we learned about the, which, the orcs a little bit more too, right? Yeah, which, also, I believe... I believe it was Kira who rolled a successful history check um, on <clears throat> yeah, I was surprised uh, uh, on her knowledge of of the Orc Gate Wars, and of which uh, I explained sort of some of the background around that. Did you get to hear any of that, Dale, or was that after? I think I I think I got to hear a bunch of a uh, a a solid majority of it because I remember I remember hearing about the Orc. Stuff, but I also know that Havoc knows nothing about all of that because that was sure. before yeah, his Orc, time. Orc Gate Wars was more than 400 years ago. Yep. Mm. Orc Rebellion. It was down near Water it was close near Waterdeep. Well, it, it, it traveled all up the sort of Traveled up, yeah. But, um, um, without sort of. In the Battle of Blackford Road. Mm -hmm. right. Yep, Blackford um, Road, which is between Luscon and Mirabar. The Grey Peak Mountains was where the orcs returned, and Thauzo was the orc leader. Yeah. So, um, but that was sort of where we finished our session. Um, but to sort of uh, update uh, on where you're currently standing, you are kind of, I, I believe we said it, you were within a day's travel to where you believe the tower might be. And uh, we pick our session up um, the morning after these so-called raiders or what um, these creatures. Um, I, I think you were asking us what we wanted to do with our day because we're just going to oh, yeah, we were just gonna flounder sit around late. till nighttime to travel. Mm, yeah, that's right. Because it was like halfway through the day already. We we're going to. That was why on. I messaged. Bavan, yeah. uh, Bavanda and <clears throat> to begin with. Sure. So are you still planning on doing the same thing, hanging around for majority of the day and then traveling? I think so. I, don't, I think mm, so, yeah. Reason to change. No, no problem. Um, so other than the one sending that you had sent to Bavana, was there anything else you wanted to sort of achieve during your day or prepare yourselves for what, uh, who knows, lies ahead? I need to remember what scrolls I've got. Um, no, uh, Tonk doesn't need to do anything more other than just, you know, sit and... I think I'm going to uh, play around and learn Misty Step from the scroll. Sure. It's like I've been meaning to do, because I believe I had a scroll of Misty Step. So you take an hour to... Misty Step? Or have I just been playing too much Baldur's Gate? Uh, it sounds like you had maybe. Okay. I've got a level. I've yeah. got a level two spell scroll. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. cool. Yeah. Um, so I does it consume the spell scroll? It does. Yes, it does. Yeah. So I'll do that. It'll cost me some gold. I think it's like a hundred gold per level. I'll take your word for it. I'd have to look it up. Um, I'll probably will as well. But uh, you take an hour to transcribe this scroll into your spell book, uh, and you should be able to now successfully cast spell Misty Set. Um, cool. If there's nothing no one uh, wanted to do, we will quarter uh, move along in the day. Um, and it gets to around late afternoon, uh, and obviously in in this region of the world, 
Uh, it starts to get dark earlier. Um, and uh, you can probably start to move towards your destination. Um, I'd like someone to roll a survival check. I got it. Just kidding. Yeah, <laughs> I guess I'll go. <clears throat> Don't like to... act like you. Just do it. I guess. I, I guess I'll go. <laughs> yeah, thank you. I pretend like someone else is gonna do it. <laughs> I know, but I kind of feel like I'm hogging it. But it's, it's your job. It's the best. That's, that's, you that's, that's, it's, it's literally, literally what we hired before. Yeah, the only reason we're I keeping you around. Um, I will ask the question: Was anyone <laughs> resting during the day, or were you all sort of <clears throat> just just hanging around? After the um, scroll, I would have just been resting so that because I don't want to get tired later on. Mm -hmm. I guess yeah, like we would have, I would have probably napped to pass the time. Kind of like sure. a short rest activity. Yeah, that's like, not, not doing Very... much. Okay, wasn't doing uh, much. Dirty twenty, couples. by the way. Day twenty. Okay. Right. So in the um. Late afternoon, early evening, as you're traveling kind of over the frozen tundra, you're checking your shard every so often, making sure that things are kind of still still the same as you as you know them to be. And uh, while you're traveling at night time, and then and and checking the shard, you can see the see this outline of the tower more clearly, and and kind of be more reassured that you are still traveling in the, the correct direction. Um, but you get probably from what you can tell 300 feet away from the tower before you start to see uh, that the um, the large thundercloud that, oh, oh, sorry, 300 feet away from where this, for everyone else, it looks like a thundercloud. Um, for, uh, here it, it looks different when she looks through the shard, but um, it looks more like a barrier uh, now um, and is, 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 is something a little bit more omin uh, ominous from, from this close up. Remind me again, what did you describe it having like flashes of lightning and stuff in it, or no, it's just a black cloud? It, it's more it, it's so from from way <clears throat> back, uh, of war. from where you were, it was more, more just like a black cloud. There wasn't actually any like hmm. uh, um, lightning strikes or anything like that coming across it, but from where you are now, think of it almost as. Uh, the best way I can explain it is if you've seen, um, sh I think it's called Shadow and Key on Netflix, um, where there's like I think they call it the Fell or something like that, where it's like a a large kind of black wall that's sort of opaque. Um, yeah. Think of an apex, uh, black like the, the, uh -huh. the black wall alt that they have in Apex, uh, but like that, but just more opaque. You know what I'm talking about, Dale? Yeah. I, 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 yeah, I also know the, the show reference that you made. Yeah. So, yeah. so uh, think of it more like that. And Shadow on Bone. Shadow on Bone, sorry, not Shadow on Key. Um, yeah, so it, it, it's similar to that, whereas it's a large, uh, kind of looming, opaque, almost black, cloudy sort mm. of wall that is surrounding an area. Um, the area it's surrounding is not kind of small enough to be able to see one side to the other and uh, or not from this close anyway but as you were sort of approaching you could see it sort of kind of en encompassing your vision and sort of taking up more more of your space from either side mm. um but you arrive to sort of the edge of this area um what are you doing um Hmm. Uh, uh, anyone game enough to touch it? I'll poke it with my staff. I will. I'll try and pull so, my staff through to see what happens. Uh, 
tonk you take the end of your staff and you sort of prepare yourself to push through not knowing what's going to happen and it just floats through oh oh, this could be bad we can't see through it at all can we uh it's not clear enough to be able to see through it's like looking through a bathroom window like how that of those frost bathroom windows you can't really see anything but you can see maybe shapes but there's nothing really worthy seeing on the other side Ah. I'll reach out and touch it. Your hand falls through. It's cold, as it usually is, but no change. Uh, Stuff it, and I'll just walk through. Yeah, I I walk through as well. So sort of one by one, you'll step through. Um, Havik, you notice that when you step through, it is significantly darker. In, in this area, the uh, mm-hmm. the sunlight is not um, <laughs> kind of breaking <laughs> through this area. Do I just walk through? Am I just blind when I walk through then? No, no. Is there, it's, is there no, light? It's, it's not... Uh, it's not... So the, what, before you stepped through, it was nighttime, right? And it was... Yeah. It was the, it was the, the night sky. It was illuminated by the moon. There yeah. wasn't com- like complete loss of vision, but it was dark. Okay. When you step through... It's still dark, but it's like there's a grey film over your eyes. It, it's still visible. Like, you can still see in the nighttime. Obviously, you can't see very far, mm-hmm. but it's almost everything is muted. Does it remind... You know, a a grey, uh, <clears throat> uh, black and white tone. Does it remind mm-hmm. me of the magical darkness that I can cast? The times that no. I have? No. Is that and is that just havoc or all of us as we all step of, through? Oh, as you all step all through, you, this is all, all what you see. So for those that uh-huh. can see in dark vision, uh, dark vision doesn't give you vision in the dark. Like it doesn't allow you to see mm. colors in the dark. It more just illuminates everything so that you can see well in the dark. Like and you can you can, see you can in grayscale. Correct. Yeah. You can make it out things more than you would be able to for someone that doesn't have dark yeah. vision. Your Most dark vision in things. this is you're not don't really notice a difference other than just the tint of it necessarily changes. Yeah, right. So well, your vision isn't actually impaired to a way that it's limited other than what it usually would be, but your the tint of your vision changes based as you step through. Shall we proceed? But after adjusting your vision and sort of kind of taking this weird change in and sort of centering and looking back up and seeing this black opaque wall behind you and you all sort of look up and you can all see the tower without using the shard. Whoa. Is it the only structure? It is the only structure. Now, this tower... It looks different from when you would look through the shard at it, um, and especially for you, Kira, because you've been using it so much. When you look through the shard, it looked like a physical tower. It looked kind of solid. When you're looking at it now, once past this barrier and uh, without using the shard, it is almost... uh, a, disconnected. It, it almost looks like a, an ink uh, blot in water, where it's sort of like drifting away in the water. It's not physically there. Oh. And you can see that it's not physically there, but you can see where it is in the location. So it's almost drifting in wind in this area, but is staying solid and kind of just... It, it's like can, can particles we approach- are flowing off it. Can I approach it and try to like walk up the steps that lead you're to not, it? You're not close enough to the tower yet. You're okay. still probably about 150, 200 feet away from it. So um, if, I look, so towards it. if I look through the shard now, does it change its There's no makeup? change. Yeah, okay. Oh, um, shall we approach? Can I, do, can I do an arcana check? Kind of like try to suss out what, it could, what could be going on with it? Sure, roll an arcana check. Like if it's an illusion um, or... Yeah, like, like do, does it make me feel like it's an illusion? 23. 23. Uh, it is definitely illusion. 
it gives you actually a very weird vibe. It it's not a well made illusion. So you've seen minor illusion and and things like that probably before, um, and you know what a good one looks like. It's it's sometimes quite difficult <sighs> to tell what's real and what's not unless you're looking for it. This one is not well made. You can tell it's quite easily an illusion, but the scale and the vibe for it is reminds you of something that is very, very strong magic. Mm. Okay. To give you also an idea of the terrain you've got, you're standing on sort of the edge of a large cavernous area similar to uh, a, a sort of uh, area that's been cut out by water. There's there's high sections, there's low sections, there's uh, trails that kind of cut in between the rock, which are covered with snow. Uh, it, it's similar to uh, almost the Grand Canyon, just on a big kind of bit of a smaller scale where there's like all these little kind of breaks in the rock and you're standing uh, sort of on the edge of this large area. Almost it, like the browns has been gro- broken up. Is it still snow covered in the same? Still okay. snow covered, although not as much as what it was outside the barrier. Kira, can you tell if anybody's been here in a while? Kind of difficult with the um, gray tint to my vision, but I guess can I roll like a survival check? Uh, I'll get you to roll a perception check. <clears throat> okay. Perception. That's not in the box. Um, perception. 25. It, you can't, there's definitely no one, there's, there, there isn't any noticeable sign of someone around you um, or that has been kind of walking ar- around you. Um, what you probably do see more is that there is a blue glow from the base of where you believe this kind of image uh, or illusion of the tower to be. Mm. Um, Tonk, or oh, Havoc, mm. uh, do you like have any spells or anything that kind of lets you know if something is like a a source of magic, I, I feel like I've seen you do that before. Not me. Um, I didn't have a don't have a prepared. If you give me some time, I can I can do it. I need need about ten minutes while we I stand guess, here. Like, though. Detect magic. I think uh, you've. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Det- I can well, I can do it, but it'll take me take me okay. just over ten minutes. I th- I think as long as we're not feeling like we're being threatened right now, it might be worth doing. We can stand guard while you. Um, Will you prepare that? Okay, I'll, uh, well. I'll, I'll I'll get started and I'll sit down and start to um, prepare and I will ritual cast detect magic. It only works in a thirty foot sphere around me, so we'll have to get closer once it starts. But sure, last for one minute or longer? Ten minutes, I believe. Ten minutes, okay. Do you have to yeah. be completely still as you prepare? Yes, oh, I can do that too. Okay. Can you ritual cast? I can ritual cast to take magic too. You have to have it prepared, or you can just always no, do it? No, I, I think I can just always do it. Nice. Just, isn't that the point with ritual casting? Yeah, it's, uh, it can be different between different types I'm of casters. Sure. I'm just having a look now. As a, as, a, as a... I think so. I think as a cleric, you should still be able to. I think as a... Yeah, you as a definitely ritual. will be able to as a wizard, because it's like the whole point of you having your book. But... I didn't. I didn't realize clerics got ritual casting. To be honest, because that was the other thing I was going to do was that divination is ritual cast. But when I was thinking, of... yep. Where are you seeing this, uh, Jamie? On my spell list, mm-hmm. it's the spell, and there's the little R book symbol next to it. Yeah. So it's a ritual yeah, so spell. I can see gentle. You can. Yeah, gentle repost and silence are your ritual casts, according to 
Indie yeah. Beyond. Unless that's been I've updated. also got Ceremony, Detect Magic, Detect Poison, uh, and You disease. can cast Cleric Spells as a ritual if a the few, ritual spell. Five food and drink, uh, Augury, Augury, I don't even know how to say that. Oh, they're, your, they're, they're your spells. Oh. Uh, no, these what... are these are all with the little R with the book next to them. I think he's saying they're that you... In... I don't think you have those prepared. Correct. That's what I was. About to say. But that's. But that's. No, that's what I'm saying. That's what the ritual. That's why I'm asking about the ritual casting. No, no. So you you still have to prepare the spells to be able to cast ritually. Ritually really? stops you. Yes. Ritually stops them from being able to use a spell slot, and it doesn't mean that they don't. It means that they also don't use any of the your uh, like material uh, yeah. components. So okay. as as a cleric, it's different. So yeah. you can cast cleric spells as a ritual if the spell has the ritual tag, and you have the spell prepared. Whether as wizards specify that you can do it, even if you don't have the spell book. Because you have a spell book. Yeah, because I've right. got a book to read. And it's his learn. Yeah. Yep. Cool. Never mind. Um, you don't need to have the spell prepared. Yeah, yeah. Cool. Uh, but um, you finish ritually casting detect magic, and it activates. Uh, now. It does. It, it won't obviously take you ten minutes to walk, uh, two hundred no. feet. Um, so you can sort of, uh, start to move towards this tower. Um, stealthily. are you moving? Are, are you moving stealthily, or we're gonna we're gonna try? So? I get ready to move stealthily, and then I look at Tonk and go. Yep. Uh, <laughs> well, can you we'll do try. anything about that? Can I mean, is there anything we can do about open? Out with the yeah, stealth. Leave him here. He'll do not have half of that. <laughs> and <trace>. stand still. <laughs> but stealthily. If we strap I, him to Derek. <laughs> well, I'm can, can, can I guidance myself? Yes, you can. You can guidance yourself. Absolutely. <laughs> All right. So group stealth checks. That's what, that's what I'm hearing. Yeah. Yeah. I rolled a 22. Yep. 11. 11. Better than, better than usual. Better than usual. <laughs> Twelve. Um, five. I rolled that. Hey. <laughs> I'm right there with you. Three. Twenty-three for Derek. Sheesh. Um uh nineteen for Kira. Okay. Sneaky deer. <laughs> <laughs> Would you expect anything less? No. Hero of the campaign. <laughs> Actual though, mm -hmm. you start to move towards uh, as stealthily oh, fuck there. as you can. Um, havoc with your detect magic up, and as you sort of get um, closer, uh, you're not. You, you can tell that you're still not sort of within range because it's only a thirty foot range, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, uh, you can tell that you're not going to be able to get close enough, kind of, because as you're moving towards the tower, you're sort of having to weave your way, unless you're wanting to go down into the crevices, which is which are about a twenty to twenty five drop, uh, like foot drop in certain areas, and there's not really a way down. It's sort of like a straight cliff drop. So, otherwise, you're sort of weaving on top of these platforms. Um, and kind of making your way around as best you can to this tower and you get the idea that you're not going to be able to get close enough um in time uh you get close enough in time uh but what stops you sort of in your tracks uh, especially with Kira's passive perception is that you can see some people uh or creatures kind of around the base of the tower uh or mm. where this tower is located how far away are they from us uh by the time you notice them you, i would say you're about 50 feet away Ooh, from, from from them uh, they is it... seem to have seen us uh they don't have appeared to is the base of the the tower where they would be in elevation, is that higher than us or lower than us? 
or in the even plane, I guess. Because you're describing so, like the, the ravine in between us, but. <laughs> I will give you a visual Ooh. A... Ooh. example. Example. This uh, is sort of what you're looking at. Okay. Wow. So, what you see in front of you is <sighs> this large tower is taking up the center of this map, but is opaque as an illusion and has and as you had saw kind of back further when as you get closer and are unable to see more you see these four blue crystals which are almost positioned uh in a way that is just on the inside of the tower the tower if you can imagine is sort of sitting like around this area just outside mm. and is sort of taking up the area uh and then inside the illusion on the base is this these blue crystals and it, inside of those blue crystals is a black swirling pool okay so what you um... also see are four hooded creatures which are casting some sort of arcane magic, these crystals. Mm. I feel like we should probably stop this, right? I kind of agree. Uh, and aside, uh, all of those hooded creatures are what would appear to be um, some sort of dwarf creature. They uh, Do any of them resemble the creatures that stood out the front of our dome and looked at us no these no? are different different do they can we hear them like are, are are they i mean can can we even if we can't hear the words they're saying are they like interacting Changing. with each other are they just focusing on casting a spell i mean are they is there anything else going on other than them just kind of solemnly doing this this ritual uh they appear to just be sort of standing by um, without knowing exactly sort yeah, yeah. of what their intentions are. They appear to just be the the hooded um, the hooded uh, creatures are uh, or the hooded dwarves are channeling this arcane energy, not exactly saying anything, um, although you're not necessarily close enough to be if they were whispering. Um, but these other other creatures, uh, or, or, or dwarves rather, um, are so yeah, sort of just standing guard. Um, Do they seem in control of their faculties? Uh, roll a perception check. Oh, they're in contact. Eight. Eight. <clears throat> Eight. Hard to tell from here. Are we just, do we want to, are we going to fight? Um, I mean, did we think we were going to come here and not fight? No. I hope that answers the question. And I'll reach out and I want to cast a whole person on the two closest to us. Sure. We could have set ourselves up. <laughs> I don't know if we can, not with Tonk. Well, I say we, but I didn't mean all of us. Yeah. They're both in range, so I'm. I, I yeah. you'll see me walk closer and be, and I'll get ready. To, We're I'm all just standing in a pack. I mean, um, surely we get. Surely right. we can act Sorry. on a surprise, right? They have no idea we're here. These are. Uh, this is a, a wisdom I mean, saving throw. Uh, no, Ch charisma saving throw. Uh, wisdom, wisdom save, fifteen to beat. Wisdom save. Before Havoc does that, I will say, <clears throat> I, I know that. It's nefarious, but I, I do think we need to find out what's going on here. Uh, so a dirty 20 and a 15. Oh, come on. Okay, they're both safe. Um, but 15, with that, no. we will be rolling initiative. Yeah. Yep. Cool, cool. Crash. Fucking hell. Uh, Ayla? 
Um, uh, seventeen. <laughs> Punk. Ten. Kira. Thirteen. Havoc. Eleven. <laughs> Fucking hell! <laughs> Oh, please don't have AOA. <laughs> okay. So. Oh, God. I do have ask, you... are they surprised? Uh, Not anymore, right? It's like... No, because surprise is a condition that affects the first round of combat. If they're surprised, they don't get an action during the first round of combat. I That's rolled... surprise works. I rolled... I have their passive perception. Your stealth was not high enough. Your group stealth was not high enough. Right, so they did see us coming. Uh, some did, some didn't. I don't know if you can have separate, like, because so, I'm going to say no. I'm going to say no, because the way I'm not going to say no. Uh, yeah, yeah, you're good. You don't have to. <laughs> um, it's not something we necessarily you, would know. You release your spell, and uh, they kind of the the two. In front of you, uh, one turns towards you, and you get a better look at this creature. It is a step stout dwarf with a kind of a large white beard. Uh, it appears to be in some sort of large, met almost full covering metal armor. In one arm is a massive hammer that is connected to his suit of armor. And in the other one is a large claw, like a crab claw. Um, but it, they're not weapons. They're connected to his armor. The other thing you see is they have dark purple skin. Um, oh. But what you see off the top is one of the uh, Dwegar uh, start to move uh over here as he rolled a 19 on his initiative um he's going to start moving towards um the four of you on on his his side anyway um it's happening where is this happening i Do cannot see start? anyone moving they're up in the, the north three, up the three he's, yeah, he's oh, no, yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay yeah i'm a napoli guy <laughs> Um, he, uh, oh, that's okay. I think <laughs> didn't hit it. And these are like 20 foot drops in these ravine kind of things, he said. Uh, the, yes, roughly. Uh, in, in certain areas, it, it there's, they're as deep as like 30, some are, um, 20, some are 15, just depends on the area. Um, he is going to turn invisible. Oh, he's and, gone. Will, and will disappear from your sight. Um, and that will finish his turn. Uh, it will Does then be Ayala's turn. I will uh, grab my spear with both hands in full move. I don't know where the ruler is. Um... So if I move, about right. Yeah, I move and then yeah, and then I'm gonna summon my echo right in front of this person. I say right in front of, but it'll be within range. Fifth, you know that. 10 foot range, so one gap one, between. One gap. Yeah. Oh, damn, I thought I brought it across. <laughs> Please and thank um, you, Master of the Game. <laughs> Hold on, I just gotta. Hello, you. There you go. All right, there you go. Can't really. Yeah, one back. Yeah. Don't know if that's ten feet or not. It kind of looks funky. Yeah. 
And I will make um, my attacks from my my echo on that. That's the dwarf in front of me, right? Right there? Or in front of my echo? Yes. Okay. Two attacks. Um, that's a 25. Ooh, that hit. definitely hits. And not a hit. And an 11. So the first one hits. Um, for 11 damage. <clears throat> 11 damage. Yeah. And then... After your first attack, you see this creature wheel back with its massive hammer and throw it at you. Uh, at your echo, rather. Okay. And he will roll his attack against you. It just, like, disconnects from his armor. Uh, no, no, no. He just kind of swings his hammer. Uh, uh, wait, you're 10 foot away, aren't you? He's got, he's got reach. He's sorry. fine. He's sorry, sorry yeah. I forgot you have reach. You're all good. So, Go ahead. I think that's all I'm going to do this turn. E. Um, sure. No, I can have my echo move. I'm going to leave it there, though. No problem. Uh, Kira. <clears throat> okay. Um, going to run over hither um, <laughs> next to this tree. Um, uh... Oh, hand, hand. Ah, oh, it's a, a sixty feet. One moment. Oh yes. Um, if I cast something that goes in a line that's ten foot wide, mm -hmm. would I, from where I am, I'd get both these people? Yep. Cool. Um, I'm gonna cast gust of wind. Sure. Um. Second level spell, 60 feet long, 10 foot wide. So I'm going to cast it. It's going to go straight through <clears throat> the echo as well, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. um, line of strong wind, 60 feet long, 10 foot wide. Blast from you in the direction you choose. Uh, can each creature can you guys see the AI just put underneath uh, the hooded figure? No. In front of us? No. no like a, name, no. a nameplate? No? Okay. No. It was more just to be able to differentiate between them. All right, each yeah. creature that starts its turn in the line. Okay, so it's not right now. Um, they're going to succeed on a strength saving throw or be pushed 15 feet away from you in the direction following the line. So they'd be pushed back. Off the When they start thing. their turn? When they start their turn, yeah. Um, uh, and it's two feet for every one foot of movement kind of through the line. Dif yeah, difficult terrain. When moving closer to you, the gust disperses, gas or vapor, extinguishes candles, blah, 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 blah. As a bonus action on each of your turns, before the spell ends, you can change the direction in which the line blasts from you. Cool. All right, so it's concentration up to one minute. Cool. All right. Um, so that was my action. And then as my bonus... How far does it go, sorry? 60 foot. So in between the two blue things, basically. It will shoot off the cliff and... <laughs> cool, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, Looks like wind, for sure. <laughs> Close enough. <laughs> Uh, this, anything else, or is that the end of your turn? If this was Ava, Azoth, he would have cast it, but turned around and bent over. <laughs> <laughs> um, bonus action, I'll move Derek. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, I'll just move him over here. Yeah, that'll be my turn. Sure. Uh, Havoc. Uh, I am going to start my blade song. 
-hmm. which is going to give me an extra 10 feet of movement, which should get me to here, yes. What's your movement with Bite Song? 50? Uh, 40. 40? Yep. You can go to or there. Yep. I mean, maybe not within... There, and then I'm not in the way of the gust. Sure. Uh, and then I would like to... Um, yeah, just... <laughs> uh, I will Booming Blade as my first attack. Mm -hmm. And then I guess I'll have to wait to see what it, it does. Uh, that should be a hit. Um, where are we? Short Sword is 25. That hits. Cool. Is it reacting? It will be reacting. Cool. But it, it's after you... Uh, yeah, it hits with an attack roll. I also uh, make an attack against it as well, I guess. Yeah. You would make, you're would. you making a reaction attack yes. back at me. Yeah. Uh, so I rolled an 18. Misses. Cool. Uh, that will be 6 plus 5, 11 points of damage. Mm -hmm. Um. Seven piercing four thunder, and then if it moves, it'll take another. Uh, you said 11? 11 in total. Yep, cool. Uh, and then I will f do another attack, which will be a. I'm hoping it moves. Uh, 23, yeah, well. 23 hits. 23 hits, then that'll be just a seven points of damage. Cool. Uh, He's and I will. quite hurt. Oh, okay. And I will stay where I am, right in its face. Sure. Um, Punk. Actually, I should have. Uh, seeing what's going on, I'm going to see the guy that. Uh, no, actually, I'm going to attack. Is the, is the hooded fella still like chanting towards the stone? Uh, he... Not not chanting. He's just he's, he's still focusing on his channeling. arcane. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Can I? I'm going to sacred flame him. Sure. Dex save. Uh. Fourteen. Fail. So 28 plus five. Oh, that's pretty bad. Uh, nine. Nine points of radiant damage to the bloke. Oh, 28, um, one and a two. Two and, two, and a two. Two, 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 and two, and two, two yeah. twos from, from 2d8. Yeah. Um, uh, and then I'm going to... I need to be... This. No, uh... My turn. Yeah, for now, that's my turn. Um, so I would say that after he is hit with uh, the Sacred Flame, his mm -hmm. channeling does stop. Yeah. Um, but you see that the crystal that he is channeling into, uh, you can see quite a, a, a visible arcane beam that was kind of moving from him to the crystal closest to him. Mm -hmm. um, it stops, but the crystal is still kind of glowing. Uh, and I would you still have Detect Magic up, Havoc? I think so, yeah. It's, it's not so, concentration or anything, so I just have it, I'm pretty sure. So you would see uh, a a large glow from uh, from the from all four crystals, or for any that are in range. So especially the one that is closest to you. I think the only one that's What's, closest to you. Uh, it is it is concentration. I actually I'm not concentrating on any other spells, so that's fine. Um, yep. What the school of magic? What's yeah? What's the school of magic? Um, it's difficult because it's homebrew, but uh, mm -hmm. it would be anything that is barrier. Magic, whatever that is. Abjuration. Abjuration, yes, it would be abjuration. Um, Wonderful. Does that finish your uh, go, Tonk? Uh, yes, it does. Yeah. Cool. All right. It will now be this guy over here. Um, so he will move towards you. I guess I should mark that I'm concentrating. Actually, I'll move to that. 
Uh, and then he will throw a javelin oh. uh, at you, Ayala. Bring it on. Oh, for a second, I thought he didn't have a javelin, but I was looking around. <laughs> um, <laughs> no, he, he forgot doesn't. his javelin. Oh, damn it. <laughs> damn it, I forgot it. Throws his uh, shield. Uh, that will be a, a shoe. A shoe. 25 <laughs> to hit. Uh, what? Who's that to? 25 to hit. Misses. Good to know. <laughs> Good to know. Uh, you take nine points of piercing damage. All right, all right, all right, all right. It's in the bone. <laughs> and then... He will just sort of stay where he is um, and kind of brace himself. Um, do the Ace Ventura thing. He, he, does, he does have a, a, a large shield with him as well. Um, Three darts is too much. He, the other one on the other side will also move towards... Uh, so he'll move to there. Uh, Except yeah, this one, uh, what you see is he uh, shouts some dwarvish words um, and you see you his say? size. Do you speak dwarvish? Yes. Uh, he I also scream- speak dwarvish. He screams in large uh, oh, and okay. his body <laughs> starts to grow and oh, get much okay. larger. Um, and then... <laughs> Uh, and then he will Dream throw it, a a javelin at you, Havoc. Through yep. the wind, disadvantage. <laughs> I don't think it. I don't know if that works like that. <laughs> it's going to be it's going to be a big arcing shot where it goes a lob over oh. the gust. If it were wind yeah. wall, it would right. Uh, that's right through, probably yeah. going to miss. Uh, yeah, so yeah, it's, an, it's an eleven. Yeah, miss. Yeah. Um, My AC is twenty at the moment. While I'm yeah. me. Uh, so he, after he throws his uh, spear and it, it hits the gust of wind and glows, blows off as well, uh, he also brings his shield up and sort of braces um, ready. Um, what you then see is the remaining three hooded figures around all drop their uh, arcane beam that they've been channeling. We, we didn't want them to um, do that. Uh, and that's bad. <laughs> They all start to converge. Kind of start moving off from where they are. Um, what you see is... Oh, wrong thing. This one. Uh, disappear. <laughs> this one. God. Disappear. And this one move... This one move to here. Um, and he... Uh, we'll just... Actually, no, he will dash. He's going to move to here, but he's not going to turn invisible. Um, the two Dwega with hammers will... One will move... Uh, I, actually, sorry. I need to do something for this one just here. Uh, so what do I need to do for your gust of wind? Strength saving throw, please. Strength saving throw. Uh, oh, well, that's not great. Uh, an eight. Oh, it's a fail. Um, for the one, the hooded figure, and then the uh, one with the hammer uh, will be a four. Thank <laughs> Yes. <laughs> They're pushed 15 feet back. Uh, 15 feet. Um, it's 1d6 per 10 feet, I think it is. Mm-hmm. So this one, no. uh, so you take that. Um, and then the other one, uh, cool. Sorry. 
uh, th- this one falls over and falls uh, prone on the ground. Actually, I'll give him a dex save, see if he can stand up. Uh, yep, so he doesn't fall prone, but he does fall off. Um, and then the other one, uh, actually, I didn't, didn't need to roll that, because as he gets pushed off the cliff, uh, he falls into the pit and just starts sinking down, uh, and he is dead. Yeah, could we tell that he was dead before he went in the pit, or was he dead once he got in the pit? Hard to tell. He fell down the pit and he's removed okay. from the initiative order. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Correct. There's going to be some, some veil like Harry Potter shit right here. So. Don't worry, he'll be back. Oh, he'll be the big uh, man. We, we can't see. You are unable to tell if he died from the fall damage or if he died from falling into the pit. <laughs> into, into the pit. Okay. <laughs> We're unable to tell if he's dead, to be honest. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, but this one uh, that fell down off the off the cliff edge um, is also going to use his action to turn invisible. Um, but that will finish their goes. Um, oh wait, actually, and uh, missed missed one. Uh, he, this one over here is going to also. Uh, he's actually going to jump down onto the ground near here. Um, he's going to make a deck saving throw, uh, fail, and fall prone, <laughs> and then take 2d6 damage. <laughs> he also dies, but no one sees it. Um, but then he will uh, use the rest of his movement to just stand up and move. To there. Ah, damn it. He jumps in um, the <laughs> uh, but that finishes there, Gary. Um, what are they doing? <laughs> Who's planning on jumping? Don't do it. <laughs> um, okay, so. Uh, can you see if I do a ruler like that? Can you see? No. no. You can't? I ain't got to turn it off. Anything. Good to know. <clears throat> um, all right. So it will then be the original um, Dwager that turned invisible's go. Uh-huh. Um, I can't see him. He's not there, so it's fine. True. Ignorance is really bliss. Mm-hmm. Especially for I Ayala. Uh, I quickly just need to look something up. See how that actually works. That one? Yes, that one. Would we know what Dwager are? Uh, I don't think he would. Surely. They're just like, they're not that special. Are they? Just like a, like an underdark dwarf, they'd be like people would know about them. The same as like people would know about a dark elf. True. Right. I, I I probably don't like, but that's out of like, but mm-hmm. there there are, you know, you'd know of you'd know of Dwegar because of people just talking about the underdark. Yes, yeah, good point. Whether or not we've yeah, ever like, seen one, it was probably yeah, it, we've probably never story. seen one, but like. <laughs> Because there aren't many Dwager up, up up on the surface. Um, is your gust of wind comes concentration, Kira? Yeah, it is. Okay. Uh, you see two black beams appear from next to this large shielded uh, figure to the right, and two eldritch blasts come straight at you. Uh, they will be with the well, first one will be with advantage because he's an unseen attacker. Um, All the attacks are made at once, so they'll both have advantage. They will both have advantage then. Uh, so first one will be a eighteen to hit, huh? and then the second one will be a natural nineteen. Uh, so then. Uh, Uh, 
So he then become visible. He does, yes. Yep. Um, I'll do that in a second. Just no, that's okay. That isn't necessarily true, though, right? If you had greater invisibility or something, can he cast? Yeah, greater invisibility yeah, would would keep you, but but no. Well, that's why. That's why. I was yeah, asking, yeah, yeah, right? yeah, yeah. No, this is not. Um, that's what I was thinking. I was like, mm, I don't know if you would. Thirteen plus eight, whatever that is. <laughs> Twenty-one. Twenty-one. Yeah. Okay, 21, uh, <laughs> 21 points of force damage. Um, and I'll need so, you to make a concentration check. Is it one or two? Uh, it'd be two for two attacks, I'd imagine. Two. So it's just three yes. above ten, is that right? Yeah. No, one would be... Ten or half the damage. Half the damage, sorry, yeah. Whichever's higher. Um, so I just rolled 19 for the first one. Nice. And then 16 plus 2, 18. Oh, nice. Yep. Yeah. All good. Job. Um, so he will cast those two Eldritch Blasts. Um, and then uh, in Dwarvish, we'll say uh, protect the crystals. Ooh. Um, it will then finish his go uh, and Ayala. Uh, can you please make a strength saving throw for your uh, so strong echo? You'll be pushed to just to the edge. Right? Saving throw. Um, eight. Uh, hard, I well. believe you are pushed <laughs> fifteen feet towards the edge mm. of the cliff. Classic. So wait, you can. Can the echo go? Only a certain amount. If you press Alt, you can just put it right on the edge on the corner and like Alt move it. <clears throat> um, How far away can the Echo be? 30 feet from me at the end of my turn. <clears throat> so, uh, yeah. I will run and use my spear to vault um, over. And if. Over this gap good. and over this guy, hoping to land like right here. I mean, eh? Jeez. we'll see. So is, my, is that a is that just a chasm below you? It might be. Uh, it's a it's a part of my spirit spirit answer thing. So if I use at least fifteen feet of my movement, which it was, um, I can span a gap of fifteen feet um, ah. at advantage with my spear. So. <laughs> The problem is it's it's a fifteen foot gap basically uh, from oh, from the been, edge from the corner. Not zoomed in enough to see to land on him. Uh, I'll I'll give you the fifteen foot of movement prior, uh, but I mean, I, when I was explaining, I did say that they were quite sheer drops. They're not really sloped in any sort of way. Mm. Um, so right on the corner, I would say it's a fifteen foot gap. So you'd be landing sort of on him. What I'll do is I'll get you to make a uh, a dexterity check, or sorry, an acrobatics um, or athletics check to see if you can move past him in the same motion. Uh, this be so which do you want first? Do you want me to... To make the jump first. To make the jump first, or... I'll, I'll just put it all, all in one. Okay. That's why the that's why the DC is fifteen. Okay. 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 <laughs> Bro. <laughs> With advantage. <laughs> a, a fourteen. <laughs> <laughs> oh! <laughs> Sorry. What I'll say is that you successfully make the jump, mm -hmm. um, but what happens is you basically jump into his arms, <laughs> um, and he has a shield up, uh, and because I said that he was in a bracing position, yeah, um, I'll give you a dexterity saving throw. Can I grab uh, onto him, like to, to try and grab onto him? Okay. So basically, leech the onto the front of his shield. <laughs> I thought it was going to be a Scar Mufasa situation. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Damn. Brother! <laughs> oh, bro. So bad. 
Um, that one is a 13. 13. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's enough to kind of uh, grab onto his shield, but I, I'll say that um, it, it's basically that was your action to do that, to try and to grab his shield uh, to yeah. stop yourself from falling into what you don't know. So you can just so, drop his shield. <laughs> so in that moment of pure, I mean, absolute panic, that, that didn't AC work out. Off. Like, Ayala started that run with all the confidence in the world that that was going to work out, right? And so in that moment of pure panic, of, like, basically leaping into his arms, um, I will use my bonus action to swap places with my Echo, and I'll end up over in that area. I will say, though, that I'm not my Echo, so I would be in this wind area, so you can... Yeah, so you uh, have to retake the saving <laughs> throw into the wind. Yeah. Is this I when mean, you start your turn and it would be, would it be yeah, your next Yeah, I'd say, yeah, probably, I don't think you'd have to redo it. Um, okay. Because it says at the start of your turn, so I think it's it's more just... Because I'd say that you and your Echo are connected in a way that you'd feel your Echo trying to save against this wind coming at, at it. Mm -hmm. Um and would be prepared enough to be able to sort of brace yourself knowing that you're about to switch places with it. Um, so, so I think that's fine. Yeah, in that case, so I moved bonus action. Ugh. I want to use my action to move down. Do I move down? I was about to do some dicey stuff to try to save you then. <laughs> um, no, I will use my, uh, my action to, um, if I remember how this works, geez. To, to like like get in my stance or start spinning the spear around me for my uh uh my defensive stance um mm -hmm. yeah cool. so like you'll see me just kind of me whirling my like spinning my spear around um looking around for like anyone that might come close within my next turn I guess mm -hmm. so that'll be my turn yeah so Kira mm-hmm uh, uh just because i know you love drawing my bonus action i'm going to change the direction of the wind <laughs> to go this way yeah Yep. Um, at the end of at the end of my turn, my echo would have just disappeared off the top of him too. I've just been like poof into flurry. Okay. <clears throat> uh, someone's got a ruler up, a blue ruler, and I can't get rid of it. And it's very annoying. Oh, blue! A, the da a dark blue. Thank you. <laughs> Weird that it stayed there. Pissing me mm. off. It was. It was. I think it was only up for you. <laughs> it was up yeah, like right on top. It. Oh, it was right on top of like uh, where Ayala and the dude with the shield was, so I couldn't see <laughs> anything the entire time. Oh, that's so weird because it wasn't yeah. on my screen either. Yeah, no, it was there. Um, the wood. There's a saying uh, cool. in there that has something about it lingering. I don't know if you've checked that on accident. So you're moving the gust of wind to there. Yep, with the bonus action, just changing the direction. Um, well, check this. Oh, and that's then... that's what I wanted. Oh. It's, there's a beam, so like if you click on the measure thing, the shape change it to a beam. Oh, it's a beam, yeah. Yeah. And I think you can, you can tell it to linger, which is it'll stay wide. there. What is it? Uh, oh, the ruler. On the beam. Yeah. yeah, ruler, and then you can beam width. Change the width, and then you can tell it to linger if you want it to stay there. I instant linger. 
Yeah, so you, you can do that. There you go. Cool. That's dope. I'll do it. Uh, yeah. Linger. Beam. 10. Ah, oh, sick. Just when you try to measure anything again, it'll disappear, by the way. Yeah. Oh, okay. So that's where you're setting it? Just measure stuff. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> um, and with my moonbow, I will take two shots at little fucker that just Eldritch Blast me. Go for it. Um, I'm going to take the um, sharpshooter neg for the first one. Sure. <laughs> that one. Um, <laughs> you shoot yourself. In the oh. uh, Fuck, I'm going to take the neg again. Come on, mate. <laughs> That's better. Uh, so, 28 minus 5. <laughs> 28 minus 5, that definitely hits. Uh, cool. Nice. Huge. Oh. Big. So, that's 10. Oh, fucking. I got two of my damage die as well. Uh, 10, 16, 18. Oh, um, Radiant. Oh, nice. what did I say? 18. Uh, 18. 18 piercing. Mm -hmm. is that four radiant. That is with the 10, yeah. yeah. I rolled a Eight, two 18 plus star. four? Yeah. Two. Four being radiant. Cool. Um, oh. Please make me a dexterity saving throw. <clears throat> dexterity saving oh. throw. Oh. Been oh uh, fucking hellish rebuke. <laughs> I like sake. I lied. I don't have the defensive stance selected, so that was just for the show. If that changes just how you, would... <laughs> if that yeah. changes how you, um, play right now. <clears throat> fourteen, fourteen. Oh, I rolled two ones on the d tens. Go. Uh, you take eight points of fire damage. All right, so another con save. Yes. Jesus. Ah! Uh, 19. Jesus, cool. kill me, fucking. Um, anything else from yourself? <clears throat> um, can I give myself any kind of partial cover if I move around this tree from two on the other ridge kind of a thing? Yeah, I'll give you three quarters cover. Mad. Yeah, I'll do that. Uh, Havoc. I Havoc is going to, or I am, going to walk over to the edge of the cliff. Uh, and then, I do believe, 30 feet, we'll get to here. And then I'm going to Misty Step mm. behind the two of them. Sure. Just kind of, you'll just see Havoc walk over and just like stamp his foot on the ground as he kind of dissipates into a mist and just appears on the other side of them. And then I'm going to spin around and attack the wall, the one that Eldritch blasted. Mm -hmm. You're not going to Boulder's Gate shove. <laughs> I used my bonus action, so I can't. Uh, uh, that is a 26 to hit. 26 hits. Yowza. Yeah, big damage. Uh, 15. 15? Yep. And then nat 20 on the second one. Hey, let's go. Okay. Double my, my 1d6 damage done. <laughs> Your offhand <laughs> weapon. Um, uh, yep. <laughs> oh. Did I hit? With, I did hit with that one, and I said it was that. I don't, I don't have two weapon fighting. The ah, oh, he got knocked off the cliff anyway. Doesn't matter. Ignore me. I was about to say you mm -hmm. need to take five points off, but he got cliffed. Uh, six points of damage with the uh, he got cliffed. Actually, no. This is this is just my second attack, not my offhand attack. Mm. Um, so that's eleven points of damage. Yep. 
and he is under the effects of Booming Blade. Uh, and that will be my turn. I will stand there facing two enemies in the face, <laughs> just staring down into all of them. Uh, Tonk. Uh, guiding Bolt on the Elders Blast guy. Sure. Okay. Level fine. one. Level one Guiding Bolt. Far away is that? Dirty 20. Hits. Ooh. I think Bolt's like got 120 feet, yeah? Mm-hmm. Yeah, Jesus. easy. Next attack says the, person with a long, says the person with a long bow of 150 feet. Yeah. Ten. Ten. I'm using a short bow. Ten nice. points. Terrible. Yeah, bow. On four dice, that's awful. Um, I'm going to cast... Oh, no, I can't. Number one. That's it. That's my turn. Oh, I'm going to move, actually. I'm going to move to... One, two, three, four, five. I'm going to move to there. You also have the beam up. I do have the beam up. I was, like, <laughs> I was testing. Uh, that's my turn. Cool. Uh, it will oh. now be the Video. guy that Ayala jumped into his turn, so he will make a strength saving throw. Please. Wow, wow, wow. Get knocked off. Well, no, he gets knocked backwards. Yeah, get knocked off backwards. I just realised I could have moved and then moved and then did bonus action. Yeah, yeah, I thought I had to stay at the same point. But I just reread it. Uh, he rolls a seventeen. Oh, yeah, it's a save anyway. Um. Mm, what is she going to do? I really wish you guys could see. Uh, maybe I can. You should be able to see this, shouldn't you? You mm-hmm. should be able to see yeah. that. Yeah, I can oh, see that. Can, yeah. Oh, you can yeah. see that. Okay, cool. can see that. All right, cool. Just so you can uh, see. What? All right, good to know. I don't like that you. <laughs> don't do that. No, no. Um, <laughs> sorry, funny. what you see is uh, him raise his shield. Uh, with this gust of wind and sort of brace himself against it and then after pull down his shield and let out a massive scream um, and he will use call to attack Mm. Uh, and three Dwegar of my choice will be able to make a melee attack Um, within range? like within within... 120 feet oh my goodness uh, what? All three in front of you have will be making a melee attack. Oh, and I say all three say because three? the invisible one will be making his attack. <laughs> Wonderful. Uh, <laughs> Roll me. Yeah. Let me. Let's see it. Bring it. I'm. I'm a tank, right? Uh, oh, kind of. All right. So hit. let me just quickly. Uh, he was originally there. You moved to him. By the yeah. way. So that was. I knew. I knew there was another one there. I didn't expect him to be right there. That was fortunate. Is that uh, the one that why? fell down? You just moved up. No, no that's the one that was on this that is the one that was. There. Yeah, he was mm. on this platform. There was, there was two up on that ledge. Yeah. yeah. Why is this not working now? No, that's working. Oh, okay. I'm moving all over the place. I can't. I can move Harry. Why can't I move him? I don't understand. Invisible one makes the attack at advantage. Yeah, except I can't touch him. Right, I can't move him right now. He doesn't need to move, does he? He's still in range. No, no, no. I mean, I like I can't click his icon. Oh. Whoa. I don't understand why I can't. One, two, three, four. Can you like drag over him to try to select him? Like drag a box over him. No, it's like he's not there. No. It selects the three. It's like selects the three of you. Is he on a different uh, a layer? layer? I, th- I thought so as well, but no, he's not. Plain. Unless he's on- oh, he might be on the map layer. Oh, he's on the map layer. That's why. Ha 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 ha! Silly Dif- Different plane of existence. There we go. Okay, cool. Uh, so he will make his attack. Um, um with advantage 
Tamam. Ee, uh, I rolled a two and a fifteen for a dirty twenty. Oh, oh that's your AC, isn't it? Uh, so I'll I'll cop it. Yeah, I'll I'll take it. Uh, you take seven points of piercing damage. Mm-hmm. Plus, yeah. oh, uh, I know I plus eleven points of psychic damage. As he, you see this, uh, almost, uh, what do you call those? Do you, do you think of? Oh, you know, it's like the Baldur's Gate dagger that is all is all like curvy, like wiggly. <laughs> oh right, it's yeah, like, it's like that. Yeah, it looks like that. And he he kind of whips that out and 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 stabs you in the side with that one, and oh, then yeah. and stabs you in the side, and stabs you in the side. Uh, then the one the the warlock will make his attack. Um, what you see here, he attacks with is a large spiked gauntlet that he um he shot his eldritch blast out of. He kind of almost backhands you with his uh, spiked gauntlet. Um, uh, which will be a oh, that'll miss. That'll only be a thirteen to hit. Yep. Um, and then the other one with the big shield will uh, hit you with a massive hammer. Um, hit him with a hammer. Uh, uh, dirty twenty. Mm, shield. Yep. Should have blinded earlier. That was going to be a lot of damage. Yeah, I figured the bit like the, the little dagger. I'm like, yeah, we'll be fine. <laughs> he was enlarged as well. <laughs> oh, was all right. Was yeah, he's, he's that enlarged. was going to be a lot of damage. Uh, um, but that will be the three attacks. Um, from call to arms, uh, which is his action to do so. He will then use his movement to move out of the um wind tunnel uh so moving yeah five ten ten twenty oh, and move to there um so that will finish his go um now th- now the enlarged one will may will have his go mm-hmm. i've still got shield up so AC you still have shield up um 25. i'm wondering if i use call to attack on him as well yeah, but I think seeing the fact uh, you kind of tank quite a bit, he's actually going to. Uh, although, is that considered concentration? In- oh, I need to make concentration check on my detect magic. <laughs> I save. <laughs> Thank God, my my detect magic is still up. <laughs> oh. Is he just glowing because he's enlarged? It doesn't say. I don't. Uh, I. I'm pretty sure he can turn invisible, um, because enlarge is not concentration. Uh, enlarge. Pretty sure it is. Well, it's a maybe. bonus action. It, like it's a a, a racial skill. Maybe yeah, but it's not a, for them. Yeah. It's a racial. I mean, like it. It depends if you. The racial skill is typically to be able to cast the enlarge spell is how it's done for players. It's whether or not you're playing it as a racial trait for him to be able to enlarge himself or him he's casting the spell. If he's casting the spell, then it's a concentration spell. No, I don't think it's a spell. Like I, I'm pretty sure it's a it's a racial feat. Like it's a He can just enlarge himself. Yeah. Yeah, it depends. it depends on how you how you want to play it. The the reason I say that is because uh invisibility has something saying as if concentrating on a spell. Whereas enlarge doesn't have that, like that that they're, they're separated in the actual um, creature stat block. Yeah, um, like they they make they make reference. So yeah, he's going to turn invisible. Um, Did it, and then uh, that will finish his go. He's going to suck. <laughs> um, but it will now be the hooded figures go um the one next to <sighs> you havoc 
Um, does he just make another attack? Now we're going to try something else. Make me a intelligence saving throw. Well, that's pretty good. Okay, mm -hmm. I can I can do intelligence. Apparently not. Jamie's triggered. That's a fourteen. Fourteen is enough. Ooh. You resist. Um, if you'd recently done the Grim Forge uh, combat, his mind mastery. Oh, crikey. <laughs> um, but he is going to just kind of move around and, and sort of stay in combat with you. Um, so that'll finish his go. Ayala, make me an intelligent saving throw. <laughs> As uh, <laughs> this so one here uh, becomes... Uh, Oh, he's visible. Uh, dirty 20. Oh, nice. He also awesome. save. Nice. Um, uh, of which he will also then move. Um, move back. Uh, and last of all, Tonk, please make me a wisdom saving throw. Not much more wisdom wisdoms. or intelligence? Uh, sorry, intelligence. Sorry. Intelli no, okay. As he moves closer. <sighs> oh, man. Five. Oh, there we go. Uh, I almost stopped on my on an 18 and then just dipped over to the, the four. Uh, yeah, do you have any. Oh, hang on. Hang you, on. Can you be charmed? I. Are you able to I also them? have advantage against intelligence uh, saves against magic. Sorry, mm -hmm. as a as a dwarf, as a sorry as a gnome. Sure. Uh, nine. It rolled off the natural twenty on the eight. Double fail. Um. Uh. So. Uh. The test of C three or do I cause it to use its reaction if available? either to make one attack against another creature you can see, or move up to 10 feet in a direction of the Dwegar's choice. Please walk off the side of the cliff. Oh, bye. <laughs> um, I'll get you... Where, where, whereabouts? Straight down. Uh, Straight. I don't think, yeah, I don't think 10 feet will get you to, to that area. Um, but... Uh, I'm actually not going to give you a dexterity saving throw because you are controlled. Oh. Um, it's face plant. <laughs> uh, but you do take seven points of bludgeoning damage. Mm. Um, and you sort of come back to consciousness uh, having been prone on the ground at and sort of right next to the ledge of you do not know where. Okay. Um, but that will finish his go. Um, and then the last one over here will disappear. Um, it will then be this guy's go, um, and he is going to dash. He's going to dash to over here. Uh, but that will finish his go. It will then be all my warlocks go. Why is there so many of them? You saw how many of them were before you started the combat. <laughs> um, he is going to roll to see if he gets his invisibility back. He does not. Um, in that case, he will attempt to hit you again, Eric. Who? Uh, sorry, uh, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, that will miss. I didn't even think twice oh. about it. That's funny. Sorry. With a 15. <laughs> Evos. Um, <laughs> Eric, I mean, oh. Don't bring up that sad spot. Oh, I'm still sad I never got to play Evos properly. 
Uh, yeah, so he will miss, um, and he will. Jamie, do a campaign you, with all the dead characters. He will you're move killing me over here. This mozzie is just annoying me the crap out of me, man. Keep missing him, dude. <laughs> um, but that finishes his go. Uh, yeah. Need to get you one of those zapper swatter things. Oh, I forgot. I've got one. I just. Oh, I forgot he had that. Me. Dang it! Oh well. Uh. Ayla. They're so spread out. Mm-hmm. Uh. I don't know what to do, man. Because <laughs> I'm really... making me very happy. <laughs> I can't really get over there. Not really. Uh, I think I'm going to try to climb down the cliff and get on the lower level. Sure. I'll, uh, I'll give you a dexterity, uh, just an acrobatics or athletics check um, to do so. It's not a very high DC. DC 10. Uh, natural 15. So it's like yep. a 22? Yep. <laughs> um, so that would be what? 20, it's like 20 feet to get down? Uh, but I think I climbing, like how... climbing, it's like half movement, it, it, isn't it? Well, you, with a 22, I'd say that you're not really climbing. I'm imagining like more sliding like down. you're sliding down. Controlled um, descent. Yeah, although I, it is quite a sheer cliff, um, so it's probably not really slidable. I'll say it uses 10 foot of your movement. Okay. You're sort of like dropping rather than uh, climbing down. Controlled falling. Falling with style? <laughs> nah, mm-hmm. I was waiting for it. <laughs> it's not, you're not flying. Um... Hello, an alien! <laughs> 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 and I also that... just realized he has a second attack, um, Dale, so I'm just going to see if he, he hits, uh, which he does not, unless an 18 hits. Nope. No. I'm like 25 at the moment, some shit. Yeah, I believe my shield's still up. It's... Hasn't been your turn yet, so yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so I'll summon my echo behind this guy. Mm-hmm. And I will make two attacks from my position from 10 feet away on him. Sure. Uh, so that is a 24 to hit. 24 and hits. a not hit. So a 11 hit. Mm-hmm. Uh, so upon the first one, he, he you hitting him, he'll use his reaction to then swing at your echo. Um, hmm. Yeah. Okay. Although, oh, no, no, he, he can't. He can't. Because it has to be against the creature that attacked him. Okay. You're all good. Um, that is eight damage. And then I'm going to use one of my in- Unleash Incarnations from my Echo's position. So we would be able mm-hmm. to react to this um, to, to make an attack on it. And mm-hmm. that's a natural 19. So. Nice. Um, and then that will be 11 damage. <clears throat> mm-hmm. uh, and then he'll use his reaction to do mm-hmm. it against your Echo. Um, and he hits with a 17. Or actually, it's a 17 plus 5. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. So my Echo disappears into a flurry. You did well, Echo. You did well. <laughs> uh, anything else? Nope. That is all. Kira. I think disappear. Yeah, sorry, what? Oh, you, it disappears. It did now. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it did. Yeah. All right. Um, just measuring things out. Oh, I don't want it to be. It's funny watching the rule of work because you can you can see someone's like brain process like happening in real time. Yeah. 
Okay. Angle. <laughs> um, okay. Trigonometry. Kira will move here. Yep. Using 30 feet of her movement. Mm -hmm. um, and then with her bonus action, she will change the direction. Sure. Of the gust of wind this way. And then she will move five, ten feet, her last ten feet back here. Mm -hmm. um, uh, can someone, because I don't want, can <laughs> someone measure me, <laughs> measure yeah, from me I got it. to the guy left of Alaric? Uh, fucking hell, Havoc. The 65. Left. Your other left. left. Oh, 60. <laughs> uh, your other left. Your other arm. Grab me with your arm. Your other arm. My, my left or your left? left? Napoleon Dome. Right? Um, yeah, cool. Easy. All right. So, yeah. I'll, with my hand, that was my bonus action and its concentration. Yeah. Um, with my Moonbow again, I will take my shots at Mr. Aldrich Blast. Sure. To the left of Havoc. And I will again take the neg. Uh, 27. I think it's the same thing. 20, so 22. The next to hit. Yeah, cool. Should I roll damage on that? Or should uh, I roll damage on that? And then I'll need you to make a dexterity saving throw. If he survives. If he survives. Um, so it's. Maybe. Hopefully. Maybe. <laughs> And um, this plus... said with a lot of confidence. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of confidence in that make your deck save. Do you want me to separate the radiant or? No, no that's okay. Uh, 23. Okay. Nice. Please make a dexterity saving throw. Damn. <laughs> Fuck. Uh. Hel 17. Hellish Rebuke only has a 60 foot range. Uh, you do pass. It is 60 feet. Oh, it's that's right. Yeah, yeah. Exactly, um, isn't it? You take. Uh, on the diagonal, but yeah. Uh, How we've been playing. 21 yeah, yeah, halved. Yeah. Oh. Huh? 21 halved. Oh, 10. <laughs> and then make a constitution saving through. Yeah. <laughs> he said 21 and a half. I was like, ah, what? <laughs> Uh, and I, was like, was, was, was cops, I think so. I've rolled nat 17s for every one of my con saves well, yeah. for a 19. Because I haven't yeah. rolled above a 10. Yeah. <laughs> we need to share the wealth. Um, <clears throat> fucking hell. Oof. I think I'm the most hurt I've been in a battle or campaign. Um, I'm going to fucking go for this guy again, taking the neg. Yep. Piece of shit. <laughs> Fuck <laughs> your mother. <laughs> rolled a three. Fuck. <sighs> What does that come out to? Nowhere near good enough. Well, it's going to be three, three plus eleven or ten or something minus five. Eleven with a move by, yeah, no. yeah. So but, like yeah, nine. three plus eleven minus five. So no. Nine. Not that it, <clears throat> not that it nine. changes too much. Is this moonbow? If I'm remembering, is it illuminating a, around? It it, it does the, when it hits something. Oh yeah, it, it saturates it with um. It does uh, illuminate the light. light, yes. Uh, yeah, I feel like that should make it hard for them to go Upon invisible. Upon a successful hit as an arrow engulfs its target in a radiant glow. Does it say for uh, how long? Well, I believe the only thing that it has hit is... Yes, it is. The that, one, that one thing, and he was already invisible when he got hit, yeah. so it yeah. literally hasn't made a difference. Yeah, but it means if he tries to go invisible... <laughs> oh, if he tries to, sure, it, but yeah. he didn't get his recharge yeah. back, so... Yeah. <laughs> All right. It's like I'll having a glow stick on them. Yeah. Is that everything, Kira? Yes. Yeah. Uh, have it. I am going to rabbit hop. Boing. Boing to here. Mm -hmm. 15 feet. Uh, and then I'm going to turn around and cast a fireball centered uh, in a spot that doesn't get me. And considering it's a 20 foot, it's about here. Bang. Jeez. And oh, that, that, that whole area. Size will... of a fireball. 
Yes, it a is. Twenty foot, twenty foot radius sphere. In fact, you can probably do are it. You any, able, like, are you able to cast it like so it detonates in the air, or do you have to cast at something? I choose a point. It can be anywhere it, in the. Even it goes in the from air. there. I can cast it <laughs> wherever so I want. So can you pick a point in the air? Yeah, right. it doesn't have to be didn't like you, a physical location. Right. I, I didn't can you cast actually do on. that to disperse the crowd? Yes, yes. you did. Yeah, yeah, you did too. Yeah, you did too. Spirit bomb. Yeah. Right. Okay. Um, so you're casting it basically in between the two cliff cliff faces. Yeah. Okay. Well, like um, in a, I'm trying to get the this one down here if mm-hmm. I can mm-hmm. in it as well. Mm-hmm. Um, but they're like twenty foot down from the cliff, so I probably won't be able to get them. So yeah, he's it's more well, yeah, because if you were to do it sort of where he is, he's twenty foot down and away. I don't yeah, think it'd no. quite. So, hit but I'll, I'll I basically it, want want me to be on on the on the lip of it. So I'm gonna step yeah. back again. And then I'll just have it centered basically here. Sure. That whole area. Sure. Nice. So what I assume is the three of them, because yep. I still nice. know that that one's there somewhere. Oh, it's there somewhere. Yeah, that guy, yeah. Um, okay. Uh, Dex, what's the save for it? Uh, 15. 15. Dex saving throw. Oh, I forgot that he was... Okay. Someone attacked him and would have had advantage because he was guiding bolted too. Oh, it's it's not the person. No attacking. one attacked the guy that was guiding bolted. Uh, yeah. The warlock fails. Warlock was guiding bolted. No, you hit the uh, the other guy, the hooded guy. That's what you. The called. hooded guy fig- fails I that's as well. What you called out. <laughs> Ooh. Uh, and um, the big guy passes with a okay. th- uh, seventeen. I sacred flame. Eldritch blast the, guy. The first guy I guiding mm. bolted. The- but it's too late. 36 points of damage. 8d6, right? For those that, that failed. For those that failed, and 13 for those that succeeded. 8d6. 8d6, right? That's what I that's what I put into the thing. That is yeah, what you put in the thing. 8d6, yeah. 36. 36 points of damage. 18 for the ones that halved. For the ones that saved. 18, sorry. Yeah, not, not 13. 13. Yeah, 18. We see a crispy husk of a thing fall to the ground. Please, <laughs> someone die. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the, so bad, don't you? the warlock does uh, fall over. Yes. Hey, wonderful. Let's go. Okay. Okay. Um, and then that one goes. Uh, anything else? Uh, no, I'll just stand there at the ready, book and sword in hand. So the enlarged guy doesn't become visible. I don't believe so. Concentration no. check. And I don't. I don't. Oh, he, yes, you're right. He does have a concentration check. You are correct. Or has to be an eighteen. Uh, no, it's half, just half damage. So. Oh, okay. So it's uh, he passes. We're on 13. <laughs> so we can see, see. Pretty sure it's half damage, right? Yeah, it is. Yeah, well, it, yeah so if he, he took 18 damage, he needs to pass a 9 minimum. Nine 10. And a half, yeah. yeah. So you can smell um, his burnt hair, but can't see him. Yeah, you, you probably just see <laughs> whiffs of smoke coming off at yeah. some random invisible point. Uh, but if that finishes, you're going to have it tonk. So I'm 20 feet down. Am you I are. in control of my faculties again? You are. Do I see this dipstick standing on the edge of the cliff? You do. Okay. You're prone at the moment, aren't you? You are prone. Okay. Yes. I stand up. I assumed you would. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to sacred flame him. Sure. Um, So dex save. Natural 18. Passes. Uh, and then I'm going to, um, can I cast Spiritual Weapon next to him? For sure. Okay. Uh, what's the range on casting Spiritual Weapon? Mm. It's like 60 feet or 30 feet? 60 feet. 60 feet. Yeah. Uh, what level? Just a, second, just a second level. Is that just the basic one? Just the regular one, yeah. That's not right. There you go. Cool. So tiny. 
toothpick, spiritual toothpick. <laughs> and I'm going to take an attack against him. Yep. 16? Uh, 16 hits. Yay. Uh, 10 points of force damage. Nice. Very good. Um, and I'm going to use the... What's down to my right? Is that like uh, a ravine or a hole or... So a quick look, it looks like it's a ice ravine. There's okay. just a... Uh, it's like a cavern of ice. Yeah. Um, it is different than the pool that's in the middle. I'm going to use whatever movement I have left to move away. Sure. Uh, so I have 25 feet of movement. That gust of wind is above you as well, so you can and, move underneath. Yeah, this. yeah cool. Um, well, I didn't how much uh, do I have? It takes half your movement uh, to stand yeah. up. So or, is that just, or is that Baldur's Gate? What's the end of your It's half. It is. Half, 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 it is half, okay. Sometimes I can't tell the difference now. You're going yeah. 10 so feet. I have three, you're like 10 feet. 10 feet. feet to stand up. I have 10 feet movement point. left. 12.5. Yeah. So just move two squares to your left. Okay. Or down, either way. Unfortunately, if you get my mind read, you are very close. Uh, but does that, finish does that finish your go? Yeah, it does, yeah. Yeah, that's my turn. Cool. Um, it will now be this guy's go. Um, guy's go? I'll make yeah. over here. Oh, that guy? Yeah, right, okay. So many guys. Uh, yeah. I'm going to need you to have all of them named for us next time. <laughs> yeah. Um, I have the name as A, B, C. <laughs> Alfred. Um, I'm going to roll to see if he gets his invisibility back, first of all, uh, of which he does not. Wonderful. I don't even know if he uses invisibility. Or whatever. I, don't, I don't think he did. He just walked over no, and threw sure. a jab on. Um, speaking of javelin he's going to enlarge himself cool um cool. and then he's going to throw a javelin at you tonk cool um excellent everything's a beam now <laughs> yeah i know so i think i'm going to change it back uh this looks so much more devastating it does <laughs> Just a javelin in large fucking tree log. Hang on, hang on, hang on. It does. Man, I have been playing this. I've been playing this wrong. See? So that hammer that uh, he swung at you before Havoc, he has three attacks of those. I used one. Ooh. I forgot to do that. Oops. Anyway. Um, so yeah, he will throw his one javelin uh, at you. Uh, which will be a natural 20. Oh, I mean, I'll cancel the natural 20, but it'll still hit. Yeah. It'll still hit. Um, How many of them do you have again? Four? Uh, oh, I rolled really well on the damage. Uh, the you're so lucky you cancelled that crit. Uh, yeah. I rolled 11 points of damage uh, on the dice, so you take 11, uh, 15 points of piercing damage. What have been doubled? Um, what is that? 11, 15, you said? Yeah, 15. 11 plus 4. Yep. Um, and then he will move. He's actually going to jump down. Kill! Oh my god. Kill! Mm. Yeah, he's going to jump down towards you. He's going to make a dexterity saving throw, which he passes with a 16. Um, he's still going to take some full damage, but that stops him from going prone. Um, I rolled pretty good on the damage. Um, What's good? High or low? No, I rolled, I rolled a six and a one. <laughs> um, Was it eight, eight, average. Seven. Yeah, average. Uh, so that'll finish his go. Um, oh, he'll move a little bit closer, actually. Into it there. Um, and then in front of you, Havoc, a very large, hulking. Holy fuck. 
Dwegar appears in front of you. Mm-hmm. Um, you, you don't have shield anymore, do you? you can it's not up. I've still use got it. my reaction, yeah. yeah. Um, so he will make his... So do all three attacks get advantage, or... Only they the don't, first the, one. So yeah, because it's not blast, all the blasts happening at once. Yeah, whereas the attacks are three separate yeah, attacks. Okay. So the first attack has advantage, the follow-up yeah, yeah. one. Okay, that makes sense. Um, all right, so the first one with advantage is a 16 plus 7. Uh, so that is going to Field. be... 23. Shield. Yeah. And then the next two attacks uh, for a... 19 plus 7, so a 26. That'll still hit, yeah. Oh! Um, so he's enlarged, which is uh, 2d10 plus 1d10 plus 4. <laughs> I'm sorry, what was that? 3d10 plus 4. 3d10 plus 4. Fuck. Um, so it's uh, 10 to 11. Uh, 16... Uh, 20 points of damage uh, total. Does it matter if there's a difference for you? No. Okay. And then he'll make his last attack. Uh, 18. Natural 18, or that's dirty? No, just just dirty 18. Miss, yeah. <clears throat> um, that will finish his go. Does um, he look battered and bruised? Because I thought he looked wounded before I hit him with a fireball. Uh, that one? Yeah, because we hit him first. He hadn't been hit, I don't think. I thought he was the one that was hurt before. Oh, the, the, oh the, no, I'm thinking of the other side. One that blew off the edge. Got, one that got blown off the edge, yeah. Mm. Yeah, so one got blew, blown off the edge, he's dead. Yeah. Um, yeah. But the, this guy hasn't taken, maybe he's taken any fireball anything. damage. But yeah, but that's it. Okay, yeah. some damage. Um... So that will finish. There goes. It will now be the mind masteries or the mind masters. Um, do they get there? They do. All right. So let's see if they get their invisibility back. That one. No. One. Number one. No. A four. Three. A five. He does get his work. Cool. All right. Uh, I need to make a strength saving throw for the one in the gust. Uh, an 11. Fail. Uh, bye bye. 15 is off the edge. 15 is off the edge. Um, so he's going to make a dexterity saving throw to see if he goes prone. Uh, 12, that's going to be it. I think I was doing DC 10 to stop himself. So he won't go prone, but he will take... I'm going to make it... 3d6 here, because he's also getting pushed off from quite far. Um, he's going to take 12 points of bludgeoning damage. And he is going to be prone? Uh, no, he, he, he passes. Oh, okay, okay. But he's down here. Um, so then, yeah, he'll use half his movement to stand back up. For those still tracking, I've got Detect Magic still up. <laughs> <laughs> Good to know. Um, He's over there like, the orbs are still glowing. <laughs> hey, Ella. Yes. Make me a intelligence saving throw. Oh. Oh, shit. <laughs> I'm going to use the one that's appropriate. The natural one says game over on it. Oh! It's appropriate. <laughs> Bro, it landed on and rolled off of a one. I'm not even shitting you right now. <laughs> God. Ooh. Um, you got like a 19, right? <laughs> a nine. Nine. It rolled over. Uh, uh, so I rolled an, a natural nine plus two, so 11. DC 12. Oh, no. <laughs> a dirty. Ooh. So 
In the midst of battle, Havoc, Tonk, and Kira, you see Ayala's, uh this purple, wispy energy floating around her head as she takes a step towards this black pool and is met by an invisible wall, and you take 2d10 points of force damage. Oh. Oh. Uh, you take 18 points of force damage, or two nines. Oh, yowza. Um, but uh, as you hit the wall, it is uh, a blast of energy uh, shoots you back um, ten five feet, so as far as you can go up to up up against that wall, um, and it shoots shoots you back uh, up against the wall. Um, but you you are no longer uh, m- controlled or charmed. Can you be charmed? Okay. So something's uh, it, the only one that can be charmed is Kieran, right? I have yeah. advantage. Advantage against charms. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Okay. You can't be put to sleep. Correct. All right. Cool. Uh. So that will be be his go. Um. He will also. I thought that was going to be way worse. Not gonna lie. Move. Mm, a... <coughs> I'm not gonna. Just, I could have but... Um. <laughs> But no, there's a reason the crystals are there. Mm-hmm. Um, so, where's this other one? He can't really see anything. Yeah, he can't get range. Where's the other one? One, two, three. Huh? Where's the last one? One, two, three. Did one die? Oh, never mind. He's invisible. That's why I can't see him. <laughs> so he should be, should be <laughs> up here somewhere, invisible. <laughs> yeah, he's here. Yeah. <laughs> cool. Um, so he's going to... I think he's just going to move, actually. He's not really got any... Yeah, he's just going to move. Okay. Um, and, yeah, he's going to also... He didn't get his invisibility back. Neither of those did, actually. He's going to try and climb up the wall, I think. Yeah, he's going to try and climb up the wall. <laughs> uh, nope. Not with a five. Uh, cool, that's going to be his go. Uh, and then, yeah, this one. Uh, make me an intelligence saving throw. Have it. Nat 19. Inside. Cool. Um, that will finish there goes. Um, uh, and then this last one's going to make an attack on you, Kira. Ayala. Uh, sorry, Ayala. Unless he's got fucking stupid reach. <laughs> he doesn't. Uh, that five is not going to hit. Blitzcrank um, hook. And then second attack <laughs> is going to hit. That's going to be a 23 to hit. Mm-hmm. Uh, 12 points of bludgeoning damage. And I will cast Hellish Rebuke on him. Sure. So, deck save. save, yeah. Natural two. Fails. Uh, how much damage did you say again? Sorry. Uh, nine. No, 12. 12. Yeah. And then 3d10, baby. Uh, 17 damage. Nice. Uh, what does your hellish rebuke look like as you kill him? Ooh, um, it's just a crispy blue flame that, uh, like burst out from, um, like his own weapon, essentially. Like he hits mm-hmm. me and then, uh, with that hitting it colliding into him, it, uh, the energy bites back and bursts into blue flame. And then, and then. 
So I imagine it as he hits you, he goes to hit you with his claw and misses and then swings his hammer, makes connection. Uh, but as the connection hit, the, your blue flame wraps around his hammer and kind of actually seeps into his armor, which he covers his entire body. And then in like almost like a puff of like blue flame, like yeah. through all the splits of his armor, he just cut and then crumples to the ground. Um, but that will finish his go. Um, it will then be your go, Ayala. Um, as my back hits this cliff, I'm going to look over and I think I would be able to see this enlarged Durgar over there with Tonk. Mm -hmm. So I think what I want to do I don't know. Is it 15 feet there? I don't think it is to the edge of the cliff. Vampiric touch. F uh, 15 to the edge. Yeah, like if I ran at an angle. So, like, let's say I ran. <clears throat> if you took a step back, sure. <clears throat> Here's what I was thinking, though. I want to run to this part of the cliff here and, like, run along the cliff and then vault there. over there. So sure. I can get my yeah. 15 feet if that. Yeah, I'll, yeah, I'll hundred percent. That sounds <laughs> awesome. Go for it. Um, roll your athletics or acrobatics check. Yeah. Okay. So that is a. Um. Yeah. Twenty one. Twenty one. Get over there. So you basically take a step, a quick one two step, and jump into the edge of this wall, uh, and sort of actually have your spear above you almost mm. as a counterbalance over the top of the, the the cliff face and you take two quick steps uh and then land um over the other side of the chasm okay um man yeah i'll use my bonus action to uh summon my echo again Mm -hmm. And put him, put her between Tonk and Durgar, and then I'm gonna make two attacks on him from that position, oh. and neither one of them hit. I bet you money. So the 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 highest roll was a um fourteen, a fourteen and a thirteen, both miss. Yeah, <clears throat> and that'll be my turn. Um, uh, Kira. Kira is going to take two steps forward to the edge of the cliff, mm -hmm. look down. Um, Oh, ho, 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 ho. so things are getting pretty dicey. Um, I'm just going to look down and, and <laughs> see this kind of huge guy and Ayala and Tonk, and then this like chasm. Um, Kira's going to look over to Derek and tell him to run and jump <laughs> yes. off the cliff. <laughs> And missile. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> wouldn't be. It wouldn't it be wouldn't a combat be, it wouldn't, without without an, enca an encounter with without. Derek. You tell me what I have to roll. <laughs> um, I mean, do I even have to? Is they going to succeed anyway? Right. Um, <laughs> what's his movement? Forty feet. So it's literally half of his movement to get to the cliff, and then and he's basically just trying to like 
rocket headbutt this this Dwega, right? Okay. Basically a charge, so it's a... Uh... Yeah, yeah. Like I'm moving um, twenty feet. What's his for for his? He has to move twenty feet for his charge. Uh, in a straight line. Twenty, twenty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Twenty feet in a straight line. Uh, I don't think he has to roll anything. He's literally just jumping. This Dwayne not tall, tall because obviously short dwarfs, but enlarged. He's still probably I don't know seven, eight feet. Yeah, something like that. I mean, it doubles you in size, right? Enlarge. Mm. Um, he's six feet tall. He'd be like eight he's feet. Sure, he's he'd, he'd, he'd be he'd, he'd be seven dwarf. feet. Seven feet. They're, they're, are like they, these guys are bigger feet. dwarfs than yeah, like yeah, their other other dwarfs. Um, I really don't think he needs to roll anything. Genuinely, just roll to hit. Um, I would say he needs to make a dexterity saving throw to see if he lands prone, and he'll take some full damage as well. But just see if he hits. Okay. It's a nineteen to hit. Hit AC twenty. Oh, oh no! Nice. Are you kidding me? They have plate mail and a shield. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. sorry. <laughs> Make roll a dexterity save, Wait, throw. Full plate or half plate? Full plate. That is full plate. Uh, yeah, there you go. Um, Fucking rolls a nat nineteen for a dexterity save. 24. Like, hits him and bounces off and lands on his legs. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, he takes two points of bludgeoning damage. Um, but basically, yeah, 20 feet straight off, full antlers into, and this Dwegast sees it coming and just kind of turns and puts his shield up and he just bounces, does like a flip in the air and sort of lands uh, for, for hoof uh, landing. Um, superhero landing superhero landing <laughs> full hoof landing uh, and uh, kind of just sits there Jesus yeah uh, fucking hell Tw- AC 20 okay um jeez is it worth roll of Jesus. Okay. Um, and then I'm going to take two shots with the Moonbow. Cool. Um, Same target? Yes. Oh, I'll take the neg. I'll try one. Fuck, it's a big AC. Fuck you. I said, maybe don't take the neg with how much AC they've got. Yeah. Uh, that was a, yeah, a 19 minus five. So, yeah. Um, oh. No, I'm going to take the neg again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, so 14, 25, 20. 20. Hey. Nice. So, fuck you now. Okay. Jesus. Uh, Radiant 6. Has it just occurred to me that you guys are 3v1 on one of them and I'm 1v2 on one of them and someone else? <laughs> 2022. I just realized how screwed I am. And you're a long damage. way away from us. The worst thing is, I've realized Havoc hasn't. Mm. Yeah, I don't know how to get to you very easily. <clears throat> I can run and take pot shots from the other end of the cliff, I guess. I can get out of there, but I don't know if Havoc would. I'm how many healthy. points of damage? Uh, I, what did I say? You said 26. 20, 22? 20. I think, no, no. Um, 22? No, it's 22. I'm pretty sure it's 22. I don't think it's okay. 26. Mm. Okay. I'm going to be more, more excited about that. <laughs> uh, yeah, 22. Anything else? 22 is pretty big. Um, well, uh, I'm... Kira is going to move over to this side. Yeah. <clears throat> sure. Um, have it. Okay. Um. Have it. Have it. Have it. Have it. Uh, 
I'm, I'm, I've, I've got two courses of action, and I'm just trying to work out what, what Havoc would do. Roll on it. Uh, that's what I'm going to do. Um, below 10, we play it safe. Above 10, he's too cocky for his own good. <laughs> below 10, he's playing it safe. Thank God. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Above okay. 10, Dal rolls a new character. <laughs> oh, it might have been. I was getting scared. Um... I am going to... Havoc is going to um, attack twice at the one right in front of me. Um, mm-hmm. First one's going to be a Booming Blade. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's not going to hit because it's only a 15 and the thing's probably got the 20 AC. It does. Yep. Uh, second one will hit. That is a 24. Sure. Um, will be just a... Eight points of damage. Mm-hmm. And then I will misty step. Or I will, if I've got to, I'll walk around to the edge and I'll misty step down since I've got to go down sure. 20 feet. Um, and that'll get me down to about here. Uh, and right. then I will I, run. You can go one, one more square over, I'd say. One more square. And then yeah, I will like run the, 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 the rest yeah. as far as I can, which sure. will probably, which I am blade singing, so it is. 40 feet in total. I will get myself over here. Like for sure. <clears throat> blade, I've got my blade dance. I'm blade, I'm blade dance and it's running for me life. For sure. Okay. Yep. Um, cool. Honk. Um, Honk's going to move around here. Do I get advantage flanking with Derek? Uh, Yes. I'm going to class Vampiric Touch at second, the third level. Sure. What you rolled uh, for. Because it's the third level. But yeah, I, not, I, was, I didn't actually realize it was going to roll that. I didn't know what I was doing. <laughs> not the dice I was going to use. Uh, hey, look at that. 24. It hits. So it's 3d6. It's need advantage. Just need, I just always need advantage. <laughs> Uh, 3d6 for 8 damage. Okay. 8 necrotic. And Tonk heals 4. Eight, four nice. Points. Sure. Uh, I'm then going to move my... Oh, can I move my spiritual weapon, like, straight down? So this is what I was... Uh, where, well, are you, I'm assuming you're moving it to the Dwega. Yeah, the the big guy. Yeah. I think you'd be able to because the way I see it, it has twenty foot of movement, right? Correct. So I he's I imagine he's six foot tall, cool. and the where current where Derek and him are currently are mm-hmm. are is only about ten foot down. Sure. Um. So I, the way I see it is you're moving it kind of fifteen feet across and then five feet down to sort of sure. put him in line. So if I put him there. Yep. Cool. I'll attack with that then as well. The darkest. Uh, 19. 19 doesn't hit. So you know, like the darkest kind of magic we've seen Tonk cast. Vampiric touch. Mm-hmm. Um, anything else from Tonk? Uh, Blood, no, yeah. that's, that's... Sorry? <laughs> oh, no, uh, that's... It. So it will now be the Dwegar Warlord's turn. But is this one more special than the other ones we've seen? Uh, well, you've seen three types. Well, four types if you count the one guy yeah. that was the warlock. Um, okay. Uh, the, these guys are the big dudes sure. with hammers and shields and kind of okay. real buff, beefy dudes. Then the mind masters, which are the ones that are the ones that are controlling the, people. The and guys. Then yeah. The two dudes that had the hammers and the hooks. Uh, Mind masters the were the ones that were casting the spell onto the crystals, right? Correct. Yeah. Uh, yes, correct. Um, so we'll start with over here because this one seems fairly simple. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I think. Yeah, he's going to do call to action. Um, so three Dwegar in 120 feet. He's going to move down to here. Um, whoops, too far to that. Um, and three Dwegar in 120 feet are going to make an attack. 
Um, I believe it's only a melee attack. Uh, yeah, one weapon attack. Um, so you're going to see the one in front of you, Tonk, mm-hmm. make an attack against you. Sure. Uh, it, it won't hit. It'll be a natural eight. Cool. Um, and then what you do see is a invisible mind master pull out his curved dagger and stab Derek with advantage. Uh, oh. Damn. How? Uh, it's a natural twenty. You. Oh. <laughs> okay. That's. So oh. Shoo. Thank you. <laughs> Derek may die anyways. That's fuck. Do you, do you have to be able to see the creature? Uh, uh fucking goddamn me. Let me check. Oh. Me or the up to three allies within 120 feet of this D- uh, Dwayga that can hear it can each use their reaction to make one yeah, attack. Okay. Oh, yeah. yeah. Um. So it's just a massive scream that he lets out. Yeah. Um. So Derek takes. So he just screams out attack, and you just hear me back. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> In Dwarvish, by the way. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Hearing you guys argue in Dwarvish. Oshka! <laughs> yeah. Oh, I can understand. Uh, 15, 15 points of damage. Does it matter what Too type bad. of damage? No. No? Okay. Uh, there's, so it's, the it's psychic and piercing. Um, Lovely. Uh, but yeah, he, he comes out of his invisibility and stabs Derek with his dagger. Um, but he, yeah, he would then use, uh, yeah, that, that's it, um, for that guy. The one in front of Tonk, I'm wondering if we just wail on you, or do we split attacks? You already attacked me? No, no, so that was his reaction, uh, off the call to arms off the other one, and now it's his go. Sure. So he doesn't have a reaction anymore. Sure. Um. So you can move around freely in that tiny fucking corner you have. Well, he can't really move around. So it's it's, it's whether he makes one attack against Derek Tonk and uh, Ayala's Echo, or do I just put them all into different things? I feel I'm gonna I'm gonna do one into each. I think. Yeah, I think that's what they would do when he's surrounded. Just lash out at everything going on him. Yeah. It kind of seems Short like a, a warrior's instinct would to be to mm-hmm. fight like that, to keep yeah. like things at distance, like to control so the, the, to the one against your Echo, a uh, natural one, Miss, uh, against misses. Derek. Oh, I dropped it. Uh, dirty 20. Go on. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know he... Uh, you knew. Everyone knew. <laughs> Everyone knew. Um, but he's got a gold armor. Surely that'll save him. <laughs> it's just for a show. <laughs> it's, uh, fourteen points of bludgeoning damage. Oof. Um. And five points of psychic damage. <laughs> Fucking single digits for Derek. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Fuck. Uh, and then the last one against you, Tonk. Glass cannon. Oh, oh. I realized that I put myself six. right next to the chasm with the mind master with three mas- mind mastery guys closest to me. Miss. Miss. Uh, that will finish his go. He can't really move, and he's probably he wouldn't move anyway. Um, so, mind masters, all four of them. We're going to do their movement first. So, five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five. Five, ten, fifteen. Oh God. I am in danger. <laughs> I'm in danger. Will Robinson. <laughs> they are not within uh, range for any sort of melee attack. 
I wonder what they'll and do. The only ranged attack I have is my mastery. So I will require um, is 60 feet from here in range. He doesn't have visibility, though, I'd say. Yeah, he wouldn't have visibility. Um, so he's going to use his action to actually jump down. Yeah, no, okay, this isn't the same one. So he's going to make a dexterity saving throw. Uh, he's going to fail. He's going to go <laughs> prone. We'll take 2d6. Uh, that I missed it. Eight points of bludgeoning. I love the thought okay. of him doing that and no one saw. So, yeah. <laughs> Except the big guy on the cliff. We just... <laughs> Uh -huh. he, 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 had he had three <laughs> hit points from your from your he died! Um, fireball. Oh. From your fireball. <laughs> yeah, he had three points from your I'm That's not gonna lie. Go when guys, I, when I rolled that and the damage as well, I forgot which one it was and forgot that that was the one that took the That's fireball. So... That's the fireball damage. That's so funny. Fantastic. Um, That's awesome. All right, yeah, two okay. intelligence saving throws. Two is intelligence it? saving throws, please. God. 22. Yep. 14. Cool. Nice. Um, then I've got my backup characters ready. They're Fuck. both going to use their bonus action to Invisible. <laughs> no, that was my tiny. Oh, oh, oh what? They minimize reduce. them so they reduce themselves. Minimize they're themselves. They're going to reduce. They just hit um, the little dash arrow. The little yeah, icon. That's funny. Yeah, I was going to say, <laughs> they've got little things next to them that are like a web browser. And then the one next to Derek <laughs> is going to use his action uh, to make two two attacks against him. You're fucked, son. Uh, yeah. Uh, so first one will be a dirty 20. Oof. Here is going to find your family. <laughs> <laughs> I'd roll damage on that first one before rolling the yeah. second one. Uh, oh, I, I rolled really, really good. Uh, 13 points of psychic oh, damage. Yeah. Derek's down. And that's without the piercing damage. Um, and then he will use his movement to go 5, 10, drop down into here, and then make a second attack against your Echo. Uh, with a 23 to hit. Oh, yeah, that hits. Oh, no. Not going to lie, this, this, this guy's been rolling really, really high on his dagger <laughs> attacks. He really shouldn't be. Um, but that's going to finish his go. Actually, he can reduce as well. Yeah, he's going to reduce as well. <laughs> it's a little guy. You're going to lose them. <laughs> no. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> um, get rid of this guy. All right. That finishes their go. Uh, Ayala. Um, watching Derek just get freaking pounded there. I'm going to like scream out in a little bit of fury, spin my spear and, and thrust it forward. It, and I'm going to be using, I'm going to be using my focused strike. So that uses my both of my attacks and my um and my action surge to do that. All of your action economy. Yep. Yep. And then um I guess I would have had to step forward one to do that. That's fine though. <clears throat> and I roll with advantage. And if it hits, I get to roll two additional weapon die. Mm -hmm. Oh. And it, oh. can, it can crit on uh, 19 as well. So mm -hmm. let's hope for that. That's crit. dope. So basically just empowering everything I have into one strike. Um, trying to do the most damage possible. Let's go. <laughs> it's so sad. How bad. They what? both miss uh, a natural two and a natural five. Oh. oh, yeah, yeah. Well, we are not rolling well tonight. <laughs> uh, yeah. So I'm just kind of left there. I, I, I stab my my spear forward, and he just like easily blocks it away. And I'm just like, 
defeated like just oh. completely like an air like air let out of a balloon like ah oh, ah oh, and that's my turn <clears throat> Kara am I gonna have disadvantage on this minimized dude uh no it's not disadvantage he's got um some other stuff so basically uh he gets reduced damage on his melee attack rolls and stuff like that, uh, but he has a plus five to his AC. Five? Yeah. So his oh. AC is currently 19. Oh. Um. In addition to the target, target of the attack in each creature within five feet. What's your dexterity like, to, uh, Tonk? Let's find out. Freaking gnome. He's, no, his dexterity's not, pretty good. Actually, not too bad. Yeah, he's dexterity's good. I'm pretty sprightly. Good. I'm pretty sprightly. Yeah. Oh, I thought it was really bad. No, no, it's my strength that's really bad. Oh. Yeah, we all knew that. Yeah. Because all, all of that strength is bad. Terrible. Yeah. Now, what do we need? A, a strength and charisma character. Hmm. Uh, you keep yeah, killing them off or making them leave. <laughs> I only have one straight charisma character, and I did not kill him off. All right, I'll um, my bonus action, I'll cast Hunter's Mark on the little dude, the little guy, the little guy, mm-hmm. <laughs> on the little guy. Yeah, I'm fucking Kira's seeing red. Does Santa know that you're missing from the workshop? <laughs> <laughs> He's <an> angry. <laughs> Got me off. Must be a oh, summer summer fall off. <laughs> <laughs> um, and you're gonna see Kira um pull out her longbow and take two shots. Not taking the neg. Two shots at this fucking little mouse in the in the sand in the snow. Sure. Ah, uh, come on, for Derek. That is a nineteen <laughs> on the first one. Nineteen hits. Second one is a twenty-two. Both hit. Oh, so Hunter's Mark. <clears throat> uh, two hits. Yeah, God, that's average. <laughs> um, mediocre 10, 20. <laughs> 24. 24. Yeah. 12 damage across two attack is pretty good. Yes. Without, 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 um, yeah, sniper as well. Mm. Um, anything else? Um, having seen Tonk throw himself off the edge of the cliff, I'm just going to run back to this tree. <laughs> and that'll end my turn. Fair yeah. enough. Uh, Havoc. Havoc a tiny is going to run forward, uh, and then he's going to... I didn't mean to do a circle, what but that's fine. Holy <laughs> that's not what I'm doing. Yeah. Uh, He's making am... himself. <laughs> yeah. Pulling I down am the going sun. To... Electrode self-destruct. <laughs> I am going to upcast a whole person at level four and target all three of the creatures I can see. Sure. Mm. So all of them have to make a wisdom save, DC 15, or be held. Okay. Um... <laughs> So the one to your left. Yeah. Two threes. He fails. I have advantage on this shit. Dwego resilience, brother. <laughs> Fuck. Yeah, resilience. Uh, the one to your right. Uh, 13. That's and then who... the big guy on top. Fuck me, another 13. 
Yeah, All right. I rolled All three. everything below 11 on six rolls. Good. Good. Above it's about time. God damn it. You rolled really well before that. You watch you you watch him like let out this magic. Oh, like 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 Rory kind of like pull rushes his blade um across his book and the magic comes out and then you watch Jamal hold and he just kind of lets out this kind of like sigh almost. <laughs> okay, yep. cool. That's 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 it for my turn. I don't think I have any bonus actions or anything. I can just stay where I am. Sure. Punk. I'm the law. Does he have a reaction at the moment? Uh, no, he does not. I'm going to move away from him. Uh, hold, hold, uh, it, so the other one used call to arms, which affected him. He then had his. He did have his turn, turn after he, he used. He his should have. He should have his reaction. Have his he reaction. has. He has his reaction. Yeah, because he had his turn after he used called arms. You know, what? I'm going to take the. I'm going to take a chance. I'm going to move away anyway. Sure. Take a chance. Make a change. Make a chance on me. Is that uh, It's going to miss. Cool. Uh, I would move around. Like I went, I would have gone like so that the little reduced guy mm. can't hit me. Yeah, sure. Um, I cast Ray of Enfeeblement on the big guy. Sure. Uh, he needs to. Oh no, it's it's an attack roll. No. Hmm. Nope. Fourteen. Doesn't hit. Yep. Uh. Yeah, and spiritual weapon was a four. That's my turn. Uh, Fuck. Get. We suck. <laughs> <laughs> Against the AC 20. Yeah. Um, so do I do Bro, wisdom saving throw even close, now for the person? End of turn. End of turn. So, okay, so, so, so yeah, they get their, they'll get their turn, but those three will get it at the end, and if they succeed, it'll drop. Yeah, yeah. So it's the, the, the Dwego Warlord. So I'll do the guy up top his end of turn, like, save. Yeah. Um, so fails. Yes. Just um, need, just need one or two of them to to not succeed. Okay. So I get that's big. Get the crit. Um, but then the big guy in front is going to take a step forward and do all three attacks into you, Ayala. That's um, terrifying. Oh, that's not. He used his reaction before his turn, so he actually gets his reaction back. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to see if he gets his invisibility back before I do that. Nope, he doesn't. Uh, all right, so first hammer attack. Uh, natural 17 plus 7. Yep. Second attack, natural 11 plus 7 for an 18. Still hits. And then last attack... <laughs> Natural 14 plus 7. It's oh. 21. Yeah. Uh, Yowzers. Boom, boom, boom. Right. You might you might drop on these. Um, Probably. Okay. Shit. So I'll roll them one at a time to see, I guess, if... Um... Yeah. Uh, mm. So... It might take all three. Got a decent amount of health. Not a lot, but a decent... <laughs> All right, so 14 bludgeoning plus 5 psychic. So 14 plus 5. Mm -hmm. I think. Second one is uh, 18 bludgeoning plus <laughs> 7 psychic. <laughs> <laughs> you going to take all three, buddy? It is. It is. One. I have one HP. <laughs> okay. oh! Third one will so put, on put you down. Yeah. <laughs> um, and is then going to take a step towards you, Tonk. Sure. And sort of that second one. Ooh. There's quite a big grin <laughs> on his face after he does that as he steps towards you. Oh my god. Um, but that finishes their go. 
uh, it will now be the Mind Masters go. Um, also, it's been five rounds, and they enlarged in the second round, and it lasts for a minute. So just yeah, okay. if, if you're only halfway interested. through. We're only halfway through. Not so. <laughs> there's, there's, there's no say for it. It's just an effect. Um, so Mind Masters, uh, the two that don't have a turn. Um, so the one to your left, Havoc. Natural 20. Okay. And the one to your right is a fail. Cool. So the one to your left passes, so he's no longer held. Um, but that finishes his go, so he can't do yep. anything. Uh, the one here, yep. I need an intelligence saving throw. Natural 20. Nice. Oh! Um, Fine. <laughs> He's going to then move back up here. Uh, and that will finish his go. Um, ALA, I don't need a death saving throw. Oh, yeah. Natural 20. Oh, you're, you're, up. Up. you're up. You're back up. Oh. With one HP, right? Oh, oh, and it's that, that's the start of your the turn. Start of, you get, you get your whole turn. Your turn. You have a whole turn. But yeah. you don't get an action, only a bonus action. <laughs> Wait, what? For no, real? No, no, no. That's that's that guy, yeah. <laughs> so stupid. Yeah, you have your whole turn. Uh, how do I? So this guy's just you... turned his back, smirking. Yeah, he's just turned his back. So you, you have yeah. flanking. Advantage. Mm -hmm. Turn him into oh, a fucking lollipop. Yeah, flay him. Oh, that's actually really cool, like, visually. Like, he puts you down, but he doesn't realise that you're actually still up. Turns okay. his back, yeah. and then you, like, shake And meanwhile, his, like, hooded mate can't speak loud enough because he's reduced. So, oh, so oh, here, here's, here's what's going to gonna happen. I'm going to come to you that's like a and re realise that he's, like, looming over Tonk. And that's, like, terrifying to me. So, mm -hmm. I, uh, before I even stand up, I'm going to summon my Echo right next to Tonk. Maybe even over top of him, like, kind of. Mm -hmm. um, like, in a way that's, like, I guess more or less it's behind Tonk, mm -hmm. but it's yeah. kind of over him, like, in a protective way. And, <clears throat> and then I'm going to stand up, and from behind, I'm going to make two attacks with advantage, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep. Um, that's a yeah. The first one of them hits so natural natural sixteen, and that's plus eight, I believe. Yeah, yeah. yep, for yeah, sure. Yeah. And then the the ten does not hit, so that would only be eighteen. Yep. <clears throat> Wait, no, that was my just advantage. Sorry, that's advantage. Yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah. I'm stupid. And then oh, that, so was, the first, a, yeah, that first was the first one. The first one hits. Uh, the second one will hit as well. It's a twenty-one. Yes. Nice. Oh. So. Huge. Huge. Ooh. An eight and a one. An I can only re-roll it once, right? If uh, I re -rolled... you can, Yeah, you can only re-roll one if a... Like, if I roll from a one into a one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, I, it's, it's, I have to keep the second one. Okay, so, so that'd be eight, uh, 13, and six. For those two attacks? 13 and six? Oh, correct. Um... 19, right? Yeah, total. Yeah. And then oh. um, I'm going to unleash incarnation and attack from Echo as well. Go for it. Which would also he's be an advantage. He's looking hurt. Natural 19. So that one hits. Nice. And max damage on that one. So another 13 damage. <clears throat> nice. He's still up, but he is looking very hurt. Let's go. Oh. Yeah, um, that's crazy. Staying uh, where you are. Uh, yeah, yeah. That might be the clutchest yes. death save ever. Yes. Because I honestly think agreed, we're pretty agreed. close to to, <laughs> to going down here. Um, oh, Kira. There's there's still three of them that I'm yeah. like. There's two more over here. Mm. Three more. Mm. We're having enough trouble with one. Yeah, it's the big guy. Hmm. We got another whole big guy to get through. Uh, yeah. 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 
But he's who does Kira go after? The one that took down Derek, or the one that took down Ayala? I didn't ah, see. You Ayala wouldn't have seen the Ayala. Oh, you wouldn't. Have, yeah, I guess. Yeah. Mm, I was just thinking that. You'd have heard my death moan, though. Yeah, sounds a bit I... like. <laughs> 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 Um, something you're quite familiar with. I think I'm the one I've gone down more than anybody else. Yeah, you have. Have you? Oh, <laughs> yeah. Well, it's all good, um, other than other than Dale's point. characters, which have yeah. gone down permanently. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> um, okay. I'm gonna run to the edge. Oh, oh that's too far. That just hurts. <laughs> um, and not and to see. Havoc went down in his first combat and almost died. Um, he, he was. That was a clutch nat 20 as well, actually, if I remember correctly. That's the no, same. that was that was, that was um, me rolling a nat 20. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You you saved me. Mm. Far out. Lost the character on his first. Oh, we lost another character um, during his first <laughs> bloody session. With my bonus action, I'm going to cast Ensnaring Strike. Sure. Second level, so Hunter's Mark is going to drop. Um, sure. I'm looking to kind of uh, restrain this little dude in the corner. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, I'm assuming I'm pretty sure it's a hit and then a saving throw from me. Correct, correct. Uh, with a second to kind of calm down. Kiri's going to pull out the Moonbow again because she knows, for whatever reason, she just has just a little bit more accuracy with it. Mm-hmm. Um, so she's really looking to kind of get this hit. She kind of—I imagine she's like she pulled out a longbow before, just as a like instinctually to—I don't know. She's just kind of killed more things with a longbow and just was just mm-hmm. <clears throat> kind of seeing red. What's comfort? Mm. So yeah, I'm going to take one shot. This guy. 15. 15 misses. That's going to hit. That's a fucking 26. Sure. So, yeah, strength saving throw, please. Fail. Five and a four. Oh. Has advantage on that? Any All spells. spells. The Duracar oh have advantage against spells, yeah. Okay, so it was, um, it was only... Seven piercing damage. Mm-hmm. Uh, ensnaring strikes. So uh, they are now restrained. Mm-hmm. Uh, and it's going to take 2d6 damage at the start of its turn. Mm-hmm. Uh, I can make a strength save to... Try and get out. Just, yeah. Yep. Uh, no or something that else. action or the end of a turn. It's, I believe it's an action to break creature it. Creature restrained by the vine, the, can, or one that can touch the creature can use this action to make a strength check against yeah. the spell yeah. DC. Yeah. Cool. Uh, and then once again, just Moving back. Out. Yeah. Sure. Have it. I'm going to run up to the paralyzed one and try to whack it with a booming blade. Go for it. Auto crit. Mm hmm. You did I not roll hit the creature that. first. Yeah, you do have to hit. Um, yeah, that's only a 16 to hit on the first attack. Misses. And then the second attack. Nat 20 or nat 1? Uh, oh. I just rolled advantage with my four dice. So I rolled a 1, 2, 3s, and an 8. Yep, I just did something similar. I mean, that was worse. But... Missed everything. Wow. Um, it's like he hard. used all his energy to put out these massive spells of whole person. <clears throat> and then I'm just going to stay where I am and hope for the best. Sure. But... Um, Tonk. Only 30 feet. He's up in my face again, isn't he? Mm-hmm. He's right up in your face. Mm. Actually, 
I didn't take damage before, did I? No, I didn't. Uh, Vampiric Touch is still up because it's concentration. Mm -hmm. Sure. Uh, so I'm going to use that again. Go for it. Which, do I have to roll to attack that again? Or... I b believe so. I think it's, um, a, it's a melee spell attack. Like again and again and again, you can remake the melee spell attack. You just don't have to reuse the spell. You spell. don't have to re. Yeah. 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 Right. Uh, flanking. Flanking. Come on. Three and a six. Fuck. Uh, I'm gonna move the um spiritual weapon. Spiritual, spiritual weapon, weapon over to, over to him. Cool. I didn't try and hit with that. 19. Oh. <laughs> I've rolled like three 11s on that. That's just right. That's ridiculous. <clears throat> um, yeah, I think that's, that's, that's my turn. Going to stay where you are? Yep. Okay. Yep, stay where I am. Um, so it will now be the Dwegar's turn. Uh, Dwega Warlords. So I'll do the one that is currently held to see if he can uh, bring mm -hmm. the whole person. Uh, he rolls. He rolls a twelve. Good. Um, so the one that's in combat with you and Tonk. I'm going to roll a d6 on a one, two, or three. He hits Tonk. On a four, five, six, he hits uh, uh, Aela's Echo. And oh, uh, no, Aela's Echo. Oh, Echo. Um, because. No, maybe. Stabbing no, I feel like he would. Isn't? He's already standing in front, so he would go for the person that he's seeing, even though he now knows the AL is up behind him. Uh, it's two, so he goes to you, Tonk. Okay. Um, so he's gonna roll his three melee attacks. I don't think he's. Does he get his invisibility back? He does get his invisibility back. He's not gonna use it, but. Um. Yeah. So, first attack. Natural 20. I'll we'll cancel it. But... Yeah. yeah. So, do you, you have seven of those? Five. Five. So, you've used three. <laughs> oh, my God. You, you, you've you've critted three times this combat. Yeah. Uh, second attack. It's a natural 18. Uh, plus yeah. seven. And we can't roll by the 10. Goodness. Yeah. Uh, and then last yeah. one is a, an 11 plus seven. Misses. So, um, the first one, uh, 17 bludgeoning, five psychic, and then the second one, 17 bludgeoning again oh. with seven psychic. Out. You're out? Yep. Um, and then Fuck. he will... Turn to you, Ayala. He just did 47 damage in two hits. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, but that will finish his go. Um, the other one failed his hold person. It will now be the Mind Master's go. Um, so the one that is currently held uh, by you, Havoc, uh, rolls an eight and a six on his save. Oh, so he, he he's still held. Um, the one that is currently ensnared. Can you still cast while you're ensnared? Or restrained. Is it... oh, sorry, while you're restrained. Um, I believe so because it's just like you're being held. You can still cast spells even if you've got somatic. Even if you've got um somatic components. I thought being held so... that was true, but I thought restrained. Oh, restrained. Was, sorry, is, that's I'm being grappled. It has um, speed yeah. becomes. Maybe not. Restrained creature speed becomes zero. Attacks have advantage. It doesn't say anything about not being able to cast spells. Yep. Disadvantage okay. on deck saves. You can cast spells. It's paralyzed that stops it, I guess. Yeah, yeah. So, oh, yeah. Is it? Um, Makes sense. So it's at the start of its turn. Uh, it, it makes a strength. Oh, if it wants to. Start of each turn. No, it, it, it takes oh, sorry, damage. No, it takes, oh, oh yeah, it takes sorry. damage. I've got, to, I've, just, oh. I've got to roll for that. Hey, you're not bad. Nine. Nine piercing. Does it die? Look at the screen. Hey! hey, it's red! hey. Oh, 
Fantastic. That was needed. He had I like six, to... no. six points left. Six HP. I like to think because it's so small, <laughs> the vines. The vines don't shrink, just, so it just, just crushes it. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> Very cool. Um, but the one that saved previously uh, is going to. Mm hmm. Uh, yeah, make a intelligent saving throw. I think it stays reduced and is just trying to do that. Havoc. Sorry. 22. 22, yeah. Um, I think he's going to then use his... Um, no, that's his action to do that. Hmm. I don't really see what's going on. And so I should do that. Uh, actually, does he get? Uh, he does not. Okay. Cool. Uh, he's just gonna stay where he is, if not, just like move a little bit over. Um, uh, maybe a little bit more. Make some, give himself some more space. Uh, cool. Um, that finishes their go. Uh, Ayala, your turn. When's your go? Yours is before this. Yours, you're after me, aren't you? Yeah. 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 <laughs> uh. Yeah. So I want to make all three. Well, two attacks, and then my unleash incarnation. Uh, mm -hmm. on him from my Echo's position. I guess I'll do the first one. Well, I, I think he maybe has... Do one, maybe do one at a time. Yeah, because... Okay, okay. He's, I'll do he's I'll... very, very hurt. Well, and he has his reaction, too, so he may hit... He, he does have a reaction. ...something, next. too, right? But I'm, I'm intentionally attacking from he, he the Echo's so... position because he's, she's 10 feet away. Or... He doesn't have a reaction like the other ones did where they can oh, make okay. an attack. Okay. I'll, I'll let you know that. So, first attack. Uh, no, 19. So many 19s. Oh, it's advantage, because I'm flanking. Not anymore. I'm flanking with uh, my echo. Tonks. Uh, true. Yep, I'll give you that. I was, I was thinking about Tonks. Exactly, exact same roll. Fucking oh, <laughs> hell. So, second, second attack. Okay, so... That's a 26 to hit. Um, and then I want to... I'm, I'm going to use um, a superiority die, which adds a d6, sure. um, and it's going to be the threatening dance. Um, so yep. he's got to save a wisdom saving throw or uh, have a disadvantage on his next... 17. Attack. Yeah, so he saves. 16. Um, so 6... That's all you needed. Oh, oh really? Okay, yeah. So, the, I mean, it would have been, <laughs> been 11 damage total. Yeah, he had 6 HP. Oh, so as I, like, um, I'm trying to find, like, that perfect spot in armor, and I miss the first stab, and then I just stab it in, like, like kind of, like, like business as usual. I don't want to, like, get too flourishy with this one, like you've seen Ayala do in many other times before. It's like, mm -hmm. she's really worried about what's going on. So she's like, business as usual, finds a spot in between armor, stabs it in there, and then yells the last thing in Dorvin that she heard Havoc yell. I don't remember what that was, but she's just shut gonna try up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, <shut laughs> up. Yeah. just gonna try to yell whatever it is it back at, at, in Dorvin as as a Roll performance away. check. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> uh, just out of curiosity. Like how old do you one? mimic? Yeah, how old do you mimic what I said? <laughs> Bro, uh, it's a have plus three, right? Yeah, 22. 22. I rolled the natural oh. 19. Perfect, perfect imit, uh, uh, like imitation of havoc. Uh, you hear Ayala scream out in Dwarvish. Nice. Uh, any movement? Um, 
Yes, and I have my bonus action still, so I want to give um, Tonk a potion. Wait, is so, it an action to give him, or it's a bonus action for me to uh, drink I, one? It, it, uh, yeah, so I actually watched Craig Roll the other day, and they fucked that up. Um, so yeah, it's a, it's a bonus action to give one yourself, action to feed it someone else. Okay, um, well in that case, I'm going to move over to Tonk, and then I'm going to use a uh, second wind on myself then. Sure. Um, yeah, which is, I can do that. Uh, yeah, d10 plus 8. Okay, uh, 13 health. No problem. Uh, Kira. Uh, Kira, what is interested? Fate. Um, Kira's gonna run to the edge, see that little dude's been crushed by the vines. Um, another big dude is killed as well. Um, uh, I'm not sure. I'm not sure if she knows about this guy down here. You wouldn't um, be able to see him from there anyway. Yeah, or even just remembers that there was someone. Well, over I can there, see I mean. this guy. Uh, yeah, that one I'd give. Um, I'd I'd still be able to see that he's kind of like held, paralyzed, kind of. Oh, for sure. Yeah. Um, does he look hurt? Uh, one? that one. Eh, not not too bad. Hmm. And if I look over at this guy. Uh, he... he's looking pretty okay. Yeah, okay. Um, okay. Um, yeah, looking down here, I think Havoc's probably got this. Um, he's kind of got the upper hand here, so 70 feet. Um, I'm going to, with my bonus action, oh, hang on, how far? 90 feet, perfect. Um, cast Hunter's Mark. Uh, oh, wait. Sure. I can just move it. I don't have to... Yeah, because you completed your hunt on the other one. I thought you right, dropped yeah. it for ensnaring strike. Yeah. You did, did drop it for ensnaring strike. That's the house. I thought I there was something. Yeah, thank you. Do you yeah, recast it? Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> Over on the big dude. Um, and... Yeah, just from where I am... <clears throat> Um, take the two shots with the moon bow over at him. Just before no you roll, neg. give me two. Uh, let me show you. Uh, Prowess creature can get past the day. Can't move his creature. Uh, attack rolls against creature have advantage. You have advantage. Me? Yes. Why? Because it's paralyzed he's held, from old person. Held. Oh, is he? Held as well. Yeah. So no. These these ones aren't auto crits though, because they're only melee attacks. But you do have advantage against them. I'll just roll the first one. Take that egg. We'll see. Do it. <laughs> well, I didn't say with the egg. No, I only no, rolled a thirteen. So it would have dropped me to fucking nineteen because I got at that's twenty four. <laughs> I would have been <laughs> so mad. <laughs> so that hits. Oh, so that hits. And then and I'm going to take the neg. Nice. I miss. Yeah, or a six and a four. They would have missed anyway. Would have so, missed anyway. Yeah. Cool. yeah. All right. So first one hits. Uh, the only Standard one. Standard damage. Um, uh, using Moonbow, right? Yeah. Yeah. So just the and with the hunter's mark, yeah. Not bad, not bad. 16. Nice. Two fives on two D6. And any movement for staying where you are? Um, Kira feels uneasy around the edges at the moment. Just <laughs> so I've got another 20 feet. I'm just going to make, make my way over to the tree. And that'll do. Sure. Um, Havoc. Okay. Booming Blade on the paralyzed one. 
Go for it. There we go. Yeah. 26. Definitely hits. Uh, auto crit. Auto crit. Auto crit. 12, 19, 24 damage on the, on that hit. He's still up. Wow. Second attack. I only just, I reckon. That it's, it's... 25. Okay, he's got two HP. <laughs> yeah. More than two. <laughs> 12 points of damage. He dies. Oh, Any movement? Oh. I'm going to just try and position myself. I know I can't. Oh, actually. Um, can I, like, run to this... You know, you know what? I'm a, I'm a, I'm a run over into this one's face. I'm a sure. get, get up to him. Sure. I'm gonna put myself up against the cliff though, so he can't push me off in. <laughs> Fair enough. Into the death swirl. It's gonna make um, you climb up and let go. Honk. Ten. Remember that jumpy thing you do? Hey. Do that. Oh, death save. Save on the death save. Oh, God. Nice. Ten. Jesus. Um, it will now see if be, he can save against the whole person. Please, this has been three rounds. Yep. Nope, Good. two eights. Fuck. That's the one I should have run to. Damn it. Uh, oh, good. Um, all right, so it's just this my Master's End. Um, he is going to see if he gets his invisibility back. He does. He's going to turn invisible. I'm going to hmm. counterspell. Uh, is it a spell or is it just... No, no. He, that one is a spell. It's not a... Well, it, it's, it says it's, as it's as an if action. Because it, yeah. Yeah, it doesn't say spells. I mean, because it doesn't have... Up to you. So, you. so you know how some things have... Uh, like some creatures Snake have... Like, casting a spell and whatnot. casting thing. Yeah. So it's like the... The warlock has a initiate spell casting, but yeah. these guys don't have it. But it's just an action for them. But because it has the thing that oh no, but it says if concentrating as if concentrating on a spell, it's not a spell. Okay. Nah, because it, it literally says the Dwegar magically turn invisible for up to an hour or until it attacks. Up to it says an hour. Yeah. Fuck. Okay, well, yeah. If he's if he's if he's doing that, then no worries. Then he's yeah. gone invisible. Yeah, As he runs invisible. away from me, I can I make an opportunity attack? Is that a thing? Mm -hmm. uh, it's a disadvantage, but sure, yeah. it'll be at disadvantage. <laughs> In the snow. It's like, or do I have to be way. able to see him? I'm, you can I'm see. No, nah. yeah. no, you can't. Opportunities, you're not technically able to because I looked up. But I was more just like, yeah. Uh, yeah. So he's going to turn invisible and then. Uh, leave. Run um, away. But that will finish their go. Um, it'll go. Where back where does he go in the tracks in the snow? Uh, you write a poem for us. You will find out if you choose to use your perception check on your turn. <laughs> um, uh, I will use uh, my action to give. Because he didn't hide, did he? He just. He just went invisible and ran. So we still went invisible and then Yeah. So we should still be able to know where he is. I mean yes, but you'd have taken action to try and perceive him. Well that would be if he's hiding. Uh or your passive perception. Okay. And I'll roll a self check to see what he does. Okay, good to know. <laughs> to yourself, good to know. <laughs> <laughs> So good. Um, I um, will use my action to give Tonk a health potion. Um, it is just sure. a standard one, so 2d4 plus 2, correct? That uh, is yep. eight, 8 health you regain, sir. There you go. And I think... Action... Alright. No, it, it, a potion of healing is not a spell, is it? No. 
No. Yeah, cool. All good. So I'm going to do the same thing that I did before, and I'm going to run off the rock back over into the main area, or try to. Uh, sure. Boop, boop, boop. Um... Athletics. Your acrobatics or athletics. Natural 20 for 28. Getting getting pretty good at it now. <clears throat> yeah. Um. So I've got my that's pretty much all I can do. Like full movement. I have a bonus action but I, there's not I don't, nah, 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 we chilling. Is my echo 30 feet from me? I want to have it walk over to the edge. To stay within 30 feet if I move on my next action. Mm -hmm. Sure. Snapping super weird on this. And that'll be my turn. Kira? Um, Kira. Um, I'm just going to poke my head out and. That guy's still held. Big dude. He's still held, so you have advantage. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll take my Moonbow shots. I'll take the neg. Nice. Hey, 17 and 18. Nice. I uh, needed a 14 at least. Hasty. So, I'll take the neg again. That'd be pretty big. Uh, seven out of three. Okay. Yeah. All right. He is hunter's marked. Fucking two ones. On my D6s. Um, 18. 18? Okay. He's still up, but he's looking hurt. Uh, Havoc. Um, Sorry. Your passive perception is high enough to see some foot... Uh, some small, very small foot marks. <laughs> I rolled a 13 on my stealth check. Uh, and your passive perception is 14. Um, but you see some uh, very small footsteps moving in this direction over here. I cannot see your ping. Mm. Uh, uh, like in between these two, the, the top and the right crystal. Like over here. Can you see it? I can see it now, yeah. yeah. Over here. Oh, nope. no, I don't see it. I was seeing uh, I was seeing somebody. That was me. That was uh, me. Was oh. Yeah. Why can't you see my pings? Is it? Is it? Am, am I getting close? Where you were originally. You know what? Yes. Yeah, you know where what? you were originally. Just, just I'll save myself the trouble. I'm going to go hunt down the one that, I, that I've got stuck. Sure. That's cool. I'm a run about this this far. <laughs> I did not mean to make that a circle. I'm gonna <laughs> make this line. big a circle. This is my forty fireballs. Uh and then I'm going to misty step up onto the ledge if I can. Mm -hmm. Cast cha channel gale. Yeah. And then I'm going to <laughs> whack him with the sword. Sure. Doing the first one as a boomin boomin blade. A bloomin blade? And the bo the bloomin blade is a twenty four to hit. Twenty six to hit actually. Marvelous. Thank fuck, because I'm not trying to hunt down the invisible dude. I can't be fucked. Uh that is the that is some good damage dice. Twenty seven points of damage. How do you want to do this? That's cool. Oh, you watch as havoc like, like sees, watches the thing kind of go invisible, runs, just teleports up and just lands on the thing's head and just sticks his um sword into the side of its um or just into its chest and you just hear a loud thunderclap as he stabs with the booming blade mm. before nice. he drops down, finally drops his concentration. Very good. Okay. Um, so we'll stay in loose initiative order right now. Um, if I'm assuming that would finish your go, Havoc, because uh, that yeah. was your action movement yeah. stuff. Um, so it would be Tonk's go. Uh, Tonk uses the Staff of Healing to cast level 4 Cure Wounds on himself and heals 24 hit, uh, hit points. Ooh. 
Sure. Nice. Any movement or bonus? Um. Can I attempt to climb up the wall like this one here? So over here, uh, over like here. where, like above where Derek is. Yeah. Yep. That that area is that much. It's only a five five foot. Yeah, climb from there. Well, I will move my ten feet to here, and that'll be my ten because I had to stand up. Sure. Um, it would then be it would actually be uh, his go, um, the mind masters. Um, we just hear so in the he distance. Would, he... <laughs> <laughs> uh, I will say in this because this would be the end of round seven. Uh, yeah, end of round seven. Um, actually, no, it would be the end of round eight. Uh, I'll say, Kira, your passive perception is high enough to see that there is a small ripple in the pool. And then in that's the center. It. Yep, that's it. No, not in the center. Like uh, it emanates from the top like top right yeah, yeah. middle section. It ripples like across the pool. Two o'clock. So yes. one thing... No no uh, sorry, sorry. Nine no, eight, ten. No, ten. Northwest. Ten or eleven. Ten thirty. The left side. Yeah. <laughs> so the um, the thing that I just for I guess aesthetics or like understanding, we just are we're moving in and about and around the illusion of the tower this whole time. That was like mm -hmm. the circumference of this area. Okay. Yeah. So <laughs> to quickly reiterate, the tower itself, I really wish you could see what I'm clicking. I don't know why. You have... So you can't see these pings, right? Yeah, I can now. now. I can now. Okay, yeah. can now. okay, right. So the tower itself is like sort of around this area. Like yeah, it's, yeah. it's just outside the circle where the crystals are. Okay. But it is purely a wispy, almost, yeah, similar to that, is a wispy ink-like uh, illusion overlapping where you are. Does it move and around when people have moved there. through it? No, it doesn't move when you move through it. It's just there. Okay. Um, the ripple that you that Kira saw um, came from this section here and rippled across the the pool. Bra. Okay. Um, and these crystals are kind of, I mean, based on what happened with the force field that was there uh, are protecting the pool. Sure. Hmm. Okay. Well. Heck. Are we still in initiative? No, we're out of initiative. Oh, but it's... Uh... Knocked himself off. I don't think he's knocked himself off. I think he's in the pool. Like, um, I'm going to come up from here. I'm going to run to the edge and just look around this kind of space to see if there's still ripples in the pool or there's like maybe some footprints around the edge where the snow begins. Sure. Roll a perception check. Uh, I'd like to do an investigation check on the warlock and see if he had anything of note that um he seemed like he mm -hmm. sure rolling an investigation charge. check twenty four twenty four okay so you're not you're basically seeing the ripples die off um there what there it wasn't a large it wasn't like a wave or anything like that or or um anything crazy but you, you're just sort of seeing them die off and like the, the the pool go still again in terms of footprints you're seeing many footprints because this, this area was a bit of a thoroughfare this is where they were sort of working and, and moving around and especially in the, the battle there's quite a lot of kicked up snow but specifically looking for maybe any current moving footprints like ones that are being made currently you, you can't see any Um, and what'd you say? It was 24, right? 
mm. with a 24, you can actually see in certain lights and, and in kind of angles the, the force field that is being produced by these crystals. Uh, what was your investigation check? 18. 18. Um, you find, uh, you, you notice that the gauntlet that he has on his hand is quite ornate um, and, and is quite uh, a fancy. Um, Grab that ladder. Uh, you also find he has a... Um, it's it, it's like a pendant um, around his chest um, or around his neck hanging on his chest. Um, it's a symbol that you don't recognize. Okay. Uh, but uh, it looks, it almost looks like a, uh, it looks, uh, no, you don't, yeah, you wouldn't recognize it. Um, but I'm trying to... I'll to... grab it anyway. If it looks yeah, yeah. like it might be valuable or magical, either way, I want to grab it. Oh, or if it's just got a symbol, I'll grab it for the others. Is Detect Magic still up? <laughs> Let me just ritual yeah, cast again. Be, right? yeah. No, it's concentration. It would have dropped oh, yeah. when I cast my um, whole person. Where is it? Can I search the miniature fuck and the big dude as well? <laughs> well they, oh, they wouldn't be miniature or bigger anymore, would they? You'd think they'd uh, no, that would have back to normal. Yeah, that would have dropped. Dude, where did I Just post a regular this sized thing? fuck. Um, mm. <laughs> I'll um I'll investigate the other big one near me as well Rolls. after after yeah. I'll mate. And I want to look around the area. I want to walk around the pool up to that north side that we haven't been to and investigate anything I might find, like secret doors, chests, writing, scrolls, anything that might be around. <clears throat> uh, sure. Please roll whatever you would like. <laughs> I can roll whatever the fuck you want. I don't care. <laughs> Sorry, I'm trying to find this thing and I can't. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna roll sleight of hand then, and uh, that'll be <laughs> it's a plus eight, so I'm good. <laughs> Kira's gonna run to Derek and spend a minute. Casting his resurrection, basically. Oh, I finally fucking found it. Oh, thank God. Right. It only took me fucking ten minutes. <laughs> I swear we had it pinned. Your deity sheet? No, I just oh. put it in the chat again. Oh, yeah, the eye oh, symbol, right? Oh. Yeah. Oh, uh... I Havoc doesn't yeah, recognize it. No, Havoc that doesn't recognize it. That was Sorry? The... That, was, that was on the Warlock. No, but who had it on them before? We found that in... We gave it to Bavandi, and I, I cautioned against it, right? I didn't think we needed to leave everything that we had oh, behind. We the Jade Owl or something? And this. We and left... You no. found it in Castle Never. We... Did, we did too. We found we left. At the bottom of Castle Neville. Yeah. Castle Neville. Yeah. Right, sorry. And then um, you saw it in a. Didn't you see it, Kira, in a picture behind the chick in yeah. Neverwinter on a in a in a, a picture painting. in a painting, a painting. behind her. Mm -hmm. You saw the same symbol. Yeah, I think. I, mean, I think she it was wasn't behind like, the wife. It was behind the husband. It wasn't she? Kind of like. Uh, Nonchalant, but she was. Oh no, sorry. It was on. It was on her pendant. It was her pendant. Sorry. She was wearing it in the photo, in the mm -hmm. the painting. That's right. Yeah, she was wearing it. In the she was wearing it. Yep. I think so. From memory, I don't know. So long ago now. Um, sorry. Okay, so who was investigating what? Sorry. I was investigating the small, the miniature yep. who's not miniature anymore, and the big guy. Okay, so on the uh, uh, on the the mind master, you find a ornate dagger 
and he has a silver half mace, half face mask, and he has about 20, 20 gold on him. Uh, take the gold and take the dagger. Sure. Um, mm-hmm. On the big guy, nothing on him. Uh, except he has a very large hammer, uh, pretty basic, and a very and a big shield. Um, but other than that, he doesn't have anything else on him. Um, when you say big shield, a shield <laughs> that I could use? No, it big oh. bigger than what you are. So they're they're dwarves, and his shield is about kind of just above his head. Uh, I'll I'll show you what he looks like. So his shield enlarged with him. Mm-hmm. That's kind of what they're wearing when it uploads. There you go. Mm, cool. Oh, wow. Okay, cool. Yeah, all right. And. Oh, that was so freaking hard to kill. This is what the Mind Masters look like. Yeah. Oh. Oh, yeah, definitely. He's so good. Oh, the mask. Great. Ah, uh, yeah, right. This yeah. is mm. the warlock. Mm. Yeah. And that was the hammer and claw. Dude. Oh, sick. Right. Oh. So these were the people you just fought, the Dwego you just fought. Damn. Very cool. Was that claw above his head? Yeah. Um, Dow, you can kind of see the gauntlet on the warlock's hand. Mm. Um, mm, that's reference. it. Uh, so, did you say you were looking after, looking, investigating the other big guy? Yeah. Yeah, so you find the same thing on him. Um, and that was walking around north of the, like, the rest of the compound, looking for, I guess, kind of anything, to be honest, like, anything left behind, any... Places um, they might have been stashing anything. Any... Did you roll your investigation? Uh, yeah, it was uh, oh, a twelve plus two. So was that fourteen? Yeah, yeah. Fourteen. Yeah. Um, plus two. Yeah, it is. There's <laughs> nothing much here. Um, it, it's got some very basic camp supplies. Um, it doesn't look like they they stay here for like long periods of time. There's no like mm. official garrison set up or anything like that um so there's nothing really uh obvious or worth taking of note um but is there anything else you're doing no once i find out that i like we kind of don't see anything else around i'm gonna find somewhere to sit down and rest take a short rest Mm -hmm. if i can take me short rest sure Mm -hmm. Let's just say it's like, like over in this little nook, just kind of plop down against the wall. Sure. Is anyone else taking a rest, or yeah, I'll I'll try and find Ayla and I'll go and have a rest with her as well. Mm-hmm. Yeah, same. All right, so we'll say the the group is taking a short rest unless Kira is yeah. doing something. Oh, I spent a minute with Derek using a spell slot to. Revive him. Sure. And then I'll, yeah, find the others and we'll chill. Sure. Um, so you take some time to, to, to re, recenter yourself and kind of regain some hit points, I suppose. I suppose. Um, yep. And I suppose decompress after what was a pretty intense, intense fight. Um. Are you, uh, uh, what are your what are your plans? Well, I think. Do we want to? I feel I like eventually like... we're going to have to try and have a look at these crystals. Uh, yes. Oh, yes. Yeah. I, th- I think we try to. I think we try to destroy them. They, I agree. They yeah, said no, they I need agree. to protect them. I think we want. I think that means we need to destroy them. I, I agree. Um, I would also. Um, while we're taking even just the short rest, before we start, I'm going to put up 
um, the dome just to stop anything from coming at us while we're trying to rest. Mm. Uh, and then I'd also cast um, Identify on the amulet and the gauntlet. Mm-hmm. I'd also get you to cast Identify on the dagger that I grabbed off of one of the hooded yep. dudes as well. So what is this? This means what? An hour at least that we're resting. That's right? that's that's forty minutes that I need to do that, and then I need to take a rest as well. So at least two hours then. Two hours, you know. yeah. Yeah, hour and a half probably. Because you so, guys, but you guys I can, can start be doing, doing that. Stuff. We yeah, want to yeah, start. Yeah. Doing the the thingos. So at this point, it's probably close to at least past midnight. Um, oh, fighting at night time. Mm-hmm. I mean, we could just take a full rest here. Yeah, we could. Yeah. In the like dome up, and I'll I'll do well, this and, and do the. But I don't no, I don't know. If there's we... nothing to say that stuff just keeps coming, right? But. I mean, that's why I'm putting up the dome yeah. to protect us. Do we but it does. Yeah, a stone, a, a crystal before we take a long rest to see if we can do it. Well, you can do that while I'm like casting. Yeah. yeah. See what happens when we try to mess with it and then decide whether or not we want a long rest after that. After my yeah. hour of a short rest. Yeah. I'll go out. Because you guys can leave. You guys can leave the dome and come back. I can't. Yeah. I have to stay. Um, I'm going to use... Uh, where is it? And yeah, while they're... After their rest, when they're doing that, I'll I'd be identifying the um the items that we mentioned. You use sure. harness... Divine power to regain a second level set of the spell slot. Sure. And then. I used, used... four hit die. <laughs> yep. Yeah, I used four hit die as well. I'll reach so, uh, hey. after casting Tiny Hut um, and then starting the, your identify spells, uh, have it, you find that the dagger is not magical. Okay. okay. Um, it is just an ornate dagger. Um, right. The uh, amulet itself is also not magical. Um, the uh, gauntlet is magical, and I will get you the stat block for that later. Um, you guys would have seen the amulet for about 10 minutes as I was casting Identify on it, if any of you recognized it. You would all recognize it. We've seen it before. Yeah, yeah. we've all seen it before. This is we uh, fill you, basically... take that time to fill you in to kind of what we know about it. It's basically confirmation that it's parliament. The representation of, mm. well, initially it's a representation of Gazgul, but it sounds like it's kind of been commandeered by the parliament and those around. Correct? Potentially? Because it was m- m- a- a- Amber. Amber never went to the main dude. He wore it. Lord Neverwinter, yeah. and it was a sign of Gazgul because he was doing stuff under his name to try to resurrect his daughter or something. Yep. Yeah, correct. So, like I will say of the three of you that do know, so excluding Havoc, uh, you can roll a intelligence check. Not a history or history, intelligence or history. I don't I mean, remember. I guess they're, they're both the same. <laughs> Natural <18. one. laughs> one. I don't remember. I, okay. So <laughs> explaining it exactly how I'm explaining Tonk, it right now. Thinking back on your time in Neverwinter, you found this amulet in the sacrificial chamber of Castle Never mm. in the in in the basement. <clears throat> yeah. Um before knowing about Strixnor and the Parliament and mm-hmm. what that was. Mm-hmm. You were told, you, sorry, you were, you figured out its connection with Gazgul through your knowledge of the Pantheon. Right. And not from what uh, Bavan or Avandil had told you. Right. Uh, a connection between Strixner and the Parliament hadn't been made or connected before finding that. Sure. So you conclude that while the amulet itself may be slightly related to Gazgul, it's not a direct representation of his affiliation or ideology or symbolism. Yeah, meaning that we could 
fairly I thought we knew that Strix Snor Gazgul than Strix Snor because Strix Snor wants to kill Gazgul, right? Correct. That he's the son of Gazgul. We know that, right? Yeah, yeah. we know that. And yeah. wants to, I think it wants. If to they kill were not Gazgul, to on good terms, a yeah. God, of yeah. Him. Something. Well, Strix Snor is a demigod, mm. and he's yeah, he's like being a rebellious teenager. <laughs> I don't. Yeah, I don't think it's the I father that. and son type thing. You're just gonna want to keep me away from him. I'm gonna empathize. Yeah, amulet was partially <clears throat> related to Gazgul as well. Yeah. Has anyone tried attacking these crystals yet? No, I'm mm -hmm. about to. Yeah, but I haven't done it yet. I want to fling a moonbow arrow at 12 o'clock. Go. Do it. Because I, I, want, I want some distance in case it like, fucking explodes or something. Uh, 18 to hit. 18 does hit, um, <laughs> and it does release a small explosion around the crystal. It doesn't hit us because we're it far away. It does not hit you. You are too far away. Does it look like it just like stopped it doing whatever it was doing? Is it, that hit? It's not seem to have an effect. It seems fairly. It remains undamaged while hit, uh, but uh, does not seem to affect it in any sort of way. Throw a level one guiding bolt at it. Uh, sure, throw it hit. Twenty one. It hits. Again, releases an explosion, but does not affect it um, in any sort of way. Dispel magic. Maybe. And, um, I'd like to try to move one of the crystals. Uh, sure. Can you not leave not the hut? Not taking. Uh, I guess if I if I leave the hut, the hut goes. So fair. If you get, why don't you try yeah. moving it? <laughs> I will try to move it. Sure. Somebody, I guess it yeah, wouldn't be smart yeah. for multiple people to guidance. Um, two what? hands on it. I'm gonna try to push it over in the direction of, like, toward Ooh. the portal. <laughs> you <touch it. laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, you take 14 points of force damage. And I'm not even able to to do anything. Like it just damages me as I touch it. It knocks you. It also knocks you back. Blasts me feet. back. Yeah, don't do that. <laughs> okay, uh, sorry. Can I? Someone can roll an intelligence check if they would like to. Roll for clue. Because we as people aren't intelligent enough. <laughs> Uh, yeah, well, that's a 25. Oh, sorry, 23, if it's just straight intelligence. There are four crystals that oh, were cool. simultaneously having something casted at them by four people. Do we have to hit all of them at once? Mm. Can try. Do we have enough people to cast something? I have to leave the dome. Uh, I can that, that's have okay. Derek. But the rest of us can do something from range. We don't really want to run Derek into it. I can always recast the sphere. It's easy enough to do. Well, if I can shoot the recast. moon bow, it looked like to have done the same thing. I could shoot the moon bow and everybody else could cast something. I don't know. Uh, I, I don't have things to cast. Mm. It's all through my arrows. Yeah, but that's that should be fine. We we'll just try to hit all of them at once. I mean, I don't get the sense that there's. I don't feel like there's some magical essence I can pull at to start casting a spell at it. If that. Oh. Uh, it's enough. just. I mean, alternatively, Wait. I can try this, and I'll cast a level Fireball. two. Um. Magic missile and hit 
each of them at once. Level two is four is bolts. Four bolts. Correct? Yeah. Uh, is it the same as Eldritch Blast? That they are instantaneously all hit at the exact same time. It doesn't really specify. It's like. I'll I'll say this. Roll a. What's your um spell passing modifier? Uh, intelligence. intelligence. All right. Roll an intelligence check, adding your proficiency bonus. Proficiency bonus. Okay. Yeah. yeah, that's pretty good. I mean, that's that's twenty-one. All right. I had it at a DC twenty. Um, okay. <laughs> so. You just have to touch all four of them at the same time. Um, but basically, as all four magic misses, what I'm going to say is that you actually shoot them up, and then so they all come down on all four at the same time, right. rather than like boop, 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 boop sort of thing um, mm. because of distances. So you shoot them up, and then as they come down the center, they all split off and all hit all four at the same time. And as before, as you had seen, like when you shot an arrow or shot a guiding bolt at them, it sort of almost repelled it and um, set off a small explosion uh, or a small blast. Uh, and then it just stood where it was. As these magic missiles all touch at the same time, you see all four crystals crack and split down the middle and break in two. And Kira, what you had seen before in that shimmer of a force field uh, slowly dissipates top to bottom and falls. What do we see in the middle? You see more clearly the pool. Uh, it is a dark, shimmery reflection. Um, almost impossible to see through. Is the the body of the metal Dwegar in the pool still, or has he disappeared? Or... <laughs> no, no, he he died from the full damage. Okay. No, nah, it was just funny that I put him there. Okay. Right. <laughs> um, no, no, he died from the full damage. So I feel like we've got to go in there. I do. We want to take a big <laughs> yeah. rest. Yeah. I, I I feel like we yeah, should take a rest like first. Taking a rest first is a good idea. Just gets us all. Can I pull the shard out and look, like at the like, just look around? Uh, one other thing, actually, I forgot to say. After you did that, and the force field dropped, the illusion of the tower disappears. Disappears. Mm. Uh, it's just a pool. Yeah, there's there's nothing. Yeah, yeah it, it, it's nothing. all gone now. Uh, so the. Dark illusion, the grey film, the tint oh. over your eyes, all disappears. Mm. Um, and if you were to look through the shard, it is just, it almost looks like a, a, a see-through piece of green glass. Mm. Wow. No, I think long rest is definitely the way to go. So I, the, I agree. Was was this the point that you wanted us to get at last session, Beth? Well, there's one more part I'd like you to do. So <laughs> we shall see if you choose to. Uh, let's take a quick long rest and we'll jump in the pool. A quick the pool. long rest. <laughs> Paradox. Uh, uh, so you, are you taking a long rest? I think so. Yeah. Okay. We could tuck all the uh, way back into that cave there and then cast the hut, bro. Shelter. Cast the hut wherever, yeah. Cast it over here. Yeah. Okay. Um, so you take your long rest, uh, you um settle down for the night as best you can, uh, and and successfully kind of rest. Uh until it, it so uh, at this point I'm gonna say it's maybe just past uh midnight, maybe one or two in the clock in the morning. Um, so you probably rest until sort of nine, ten in the morning. Um, and, uh, as, as you all wake, you are greeted with, with the sun as you would 
would be normally mm -hmm. and not sort of what you would assume to be kind of the knight. Um, I'm not going to put that spirit. Uh, and uh, the the spell for your your hut drops. Um, Ooh, no one, idea. no one's around. Um, it is eerily the, quiet. The bodies are still there from the night before. Bodies are all still there. Yeah. Um, but I think in this moment, after taking a long rest and letting your adrenaline calm down. You do hear a slight um, kind of warble emanating from the pool. Wow. Um, well, um, I mean, do we just step in? I uh, yeah, I kind of think, kind of think we do. Um, I, I can go first and then I can call no. back to you to say that, um, it's all safe. And if you don't hear from me, probably don't follow. That's a bit dark, isn't it? Well, I don't know. I kind of wanted to hold hands and go through together. Yeah, I think we've, going through together is... We've made it. Far. Yeah, we've made it this far. And if we die on the way through, like, I don't know. Would it matter? Oh, come by up. <laughs> I'll stand at the edge and reach a hand out, I guess. <laughs> Four little diving boards here for us. Kumbaya. Yeah. There is. Uh, so you're all jumping in? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. <sighs> you all take a step and drop into this black liquid and it is freezing cold as you step in and you cannot see a thing it is pure darkness and you're sort of just floating there underneath the surface but it doesn't feel like water it feels lighter than water there's no buoyancy and then you start to feel yourself moving downwards, sinking slowly, mm. and a bit faster, and a bit faster. And you can feel yourself slowly sinking and moving down and down. And you can't tell how long you've been moving down for. You're, can it we doesn't breathe? feel like you're in water and you're breathing. Okay. And then... You get stuck getting sucked further and further down and the next thing you know you blink and you're falling. Ten, five, and then you hit the ground. But there's no pain. And you open your eyes and you see this. Oh shit. Uh like, I will am just. I getting, am I getting a Discord message or, or no, a no. twenty map it's, update? Which, no, no, which it's, it's, it's in Discord. It's in Discord. Uh, you mm. see the black tower uh -huh. in the middle of this landscape. Uh, I will just say, ignore the necropolis word. Sure. Mm -hmm. That this is taken from something yeah. else. Uh, but it is a. Uh, to, to, uh, you're in the bottom right hand corner. Uh, on the ice ledge. Right. Um, but in the middle, you see the black tower that you saw as an illusion, but it is a physical tower. So the image I sent in Discord uh, last week is located in the middle of this space. Dang. It is surrounded by a black nether, almost similar to the cloud space you saw, the water that you just jumped into or the, the liquid pool that you just jumped into. And there are all these buildings and 
almost looked like towns or villages surrounding the tower. Does it seem like we came into an arbitrary space or like this, we showed up into like a portal area, like a place where people would come and go? The closest this thing reminds you of is the hags. Um, Mm. Dreamscape. Dreamscape. Dreamscape for those that obviously fought the hag. Um, for Havoc, oh, right. this reminds you of it as a pocket dimension. Yeah. Right. And that's where we'll finish tonight's episode. Hey. Very cool. That was a lot of fun. That was. That was a really. That was a, that that great, combat. Was great scary. combat. Yeah. That's why oh, I was yeah. so excited. That's why I wanted. To... I was on oh. twelve HP for most of that combat. Yeah. Mm. Dude, that hold person. Fuck, if I rolled better on that. Oh, oh. the triple hold person. But then, like, yeah, we rolled Dude, so, so terribly for the entire night. Yeah, mm. that was a bad roll. But oh, it, my goodness. Yeah. You may have rolled the worst, Tom, I think. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. I think so. Outside of Ben, Ben rolling, to, like, how many advantage rolls and not saving those? Yeah. I don't think they had any. They didn't have any modifiers on that, though, did they? They had no modifiers. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. it was pure straight rolls, just with advantage. And I, so so they, I, had, yeah. I had to roll a fifteen or higher, basically. Yeah, yeah. yeah right. So it's, statistically, I, it's yeah. difficult. But I mean, with yeah. how many I failed, it's still probably <laughs> bummer below yeah. the average. Yeah, <laughs> impressive. But, but yeah, that was um that was a fun episode, bro. Oh, I think I, I also think that. One of the saving combats, that man. saving throw, I think he knocks Tonk right after he knocked me. If I if I'm rolling the saving throws still, yeah, and Possibly. it's just like the zipper effect over there, like that. That could have been leaving. Some, I think I think I think we end up leaving someone to die. Yeah. No. So okay. So one of the cool things about Tonk and that we haven't really had to worry about too much because no one gets knocked. No one's got knocked much really is that if you're at zero hit points i can heal you and you gain just straight up max yeah, yeah i mean that, if, you're alive, if you're up yeah, yeah i, I would have had a turn yeah, before yeah, he yeah. would have had a turn again yeah true that's true so i could have mounted i could have run around and then because i was i was getting ready I and i i had this in the back of my mind every time you guys when you're a chasm to like teleport to you Grab hold mm-hmm. and Dimension Doris both out at, yeah, on the yeah. next turn, because mm-hmm. I'm sitting there with Dimension Door just re- like I kept a f- I kept a spell slot no matter what just mm-hmm. to make sure I could Dimension Door some like someone <sighs> somewhere else. Yeah. So like my my thought w- with you was going to be I was going to run run jump across the ledge, rabbit hop to you, grab you, and then Dimension Door both up and up out mm-hmm. the ledge. Mm-hmm. So like I said it a couple of weeks ago that it's going to get. I like it's it though. I, I, I like yeah, it a lot good. though. It's really fun. That was very next level. Because Do you know what the challenge rating of that combat was? The what? Do you know what the challenge rating of that combat was? Oh yeah, that was deadly. Yeah, it, that yeah. was a uh, that was a at tough. least right. The damage like, yeah, that would do. I did. I did. I looked up the yeah. ACs. I, I, like at the end of that, I looked up the mind masters to be like, what kind of challenge rating are they? They're two each. Yes. Yeah. Dang, there's four, four of them. Well, that's eight. No, no, I know. Like uh, that was that was scaled up. What's like, what's the um? All right, to give to give you an idea, that's the challenge rating.